Chapter 441 Combination Technique Translator Born to be with the final roar, Long Chen's Feng Fu star and Aliyev star quickly circulated, and a fist came smashing at Han Xianayu. Han Xianayu felt a terrifying aura lock him down, and he was filled with horror. Long Chen was only a tendon transformation, and yet he was able to lock him down. Boom. People were horrified to see that Han Xianayu was once more blown back. The arm he had used to block had its sleeve completely blown apart, and his fist was now a bit deformed. Clearly he had underestimated Long Chen's power, and thus he had suffered. He flew back hundreds of meters before stabilizing. Ha 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 ha. Han Xianayu suddenly raised his head and laughed. Not bad. It's no wonder you could kill my brother. You truly have that bit of ability. But this is also best, as only like this will it be a bit interesting. He shook out his arm, and it was unknown what technique he was using but his deformed hand instantly recovered. Clenching it, it let out light crackling sounds. The current you does have the qualifications to make me a bit more serious. Take out your weapon. This battle will end quickly. Han Shianayu took out a sword, and suddenly a terrifying sword key soared into the sky. Han Shianayu. He's a sword cultivator. Everyone was shocked, especially Yu Zifeng. He was already tightly staring at Han Shianayu. The current Han Shianayu had completely transformed from his usual self. He was like an awakened blade whose sharpness shook the world. Everyone present was within the range of that sword key, and their hair stood on end. They felt as if the edge of a cold blade was pressed against their throats. Sword cultivators were always praised as the cultivators with the strongest attack power. Now that Han Shianayu had released his aura, it caused everyone to tremble. Even Huabiluo and the others jumped in shock. Han Shianayu had truly hidden himself deeply. Who would have thought that this refined and cultured person was actually a sword cultivator? Normally, sword cultivators were especially prideful. Thus, this contrast of temperaments was truly too much. So his mind-reading skill was just to conceal the fact he was a sword cultivator, exclaimed Huabiluo. She saw that even the first monastery's disciples, including Yun Wushuang, were now astonished. Obviously. Even they also hadn't known Han Shianayu's true abilities. Does your face not hurt? Long Chen snorted, a blood-colored saber appearing in his hand. A wild will surged out of him. Die. Han Shianayu's expression sank. With a cold shout, his sword quivered and the void seemed to have been split apart. A ray of sword key mercilessly slashed down on Long Chen. Long Chen's blood-colored saber let out a loud cry, seeming to come to life. A saber image clashed with Han Shianayu's sword key. When the sword key and saber image collided, there wasn't any explosion. Instead, the two tightly locked against each other. They constantly trembled as the two of them went all out to suppress the other. In their very first collision, the two of them wanted to use their imposingness to suppress the other. This was one of the most critical steps to victory. Once a person retreated, it was extremely easy for the opponent to launch consecutive blows that might lead all the way to a perfect victory. Both of their spiritual key was pouring into their weapons. Those 300-meter saber images and sword key blossomed with light, radiating immense power. The ground beneath their feet crumbled, and a wave of key surged out. A huge crater formed in the ground. That crater only grew as the two of them increased their power. In an instant, it surged out, encompassing everyone present. Fuck. Quite a few people were unable to endure that terrifying pressure and spat out blood. They hastily retreated. There were only a few experts who were able to stay in their original locations in the face of that pressure. Boom. Suddenly, their saber image and sword key exploded. They had been unable to endure that level of spiritual key. Die. The two of them roared at the same time and charged at the other. Long Chen's saber slashed towards Han Shianayu's neck. Han Shianayu blocked with his sword, and he was about to return blows, when he suddenly felt a burst of pain on his abdomen. At some unknown time, Long Chen's foot had kicked him there. Although 99% of his power was focused on the saber, this one kick was still extremely powerful. Han Shianayu was sent flying. No one would expect Long Chen to use such an odd move when all their power was focused on their weapons. His inner organs were displaced by the power, and he almost spat blood. Despicable. Han Shianayu roared and sword key shot out, filling the sky. Dozens of sword images slashed down on Long Chen. Long Chen was startled, as Han Shianayu's sword key was no illusion but solid, with dozens of rays of sword key slashing down on him, their power could easily superimpose, parting wind slash, his blood-colored saber swept out, and a huge ray of saber key cut apart the void, smashing into the sword key, boom, Long Chen's arm trembled and he involuntarily flew back a hundred meters, 
Clear wind sword dance. Han Shian Ayu continued pressing forward, his sword suddenly becoming like the cool breeze blowing through willow trees, continuously stabbing at Long Chen. His sword tip was like the tongue of a viper, coming from every angle, making it so no one was able to predict where his next attack would land. What terrifying sword arts, exclaimed Yu Zifeng. This was his first time seeing such sword arts. They were so exquisite they were unblockable. They caused a person to feel such a despair that they would have an urge to just close their eyes and wait for death. Long Chen snorted, ignoring Han Shian Ayu's sword. His saber slashed towards his throat. His saber was over three meters long, while Han Shian Ayu's sword was only four feet. Even though Long Chen was attacking after him, his saber would still pierce through his throat before his sword pierced his body. What surprised everyone was that Han Shian Ayu actually sneered with ridicule, and his sword didn't stop. He allowed Long Chen's saber to continue approaching his neck, but with a muffled bang, sparks flew. What? The thing blocking Long Chen's saber was surprisingly Han Shian Ayu's sheath. Long Chen was startled. At this time, his sword tip was just about to reach him. Furthermore, there was a powerful spiritual key condensed on top of it. If it pierced through his body, his insides would instantly explode. But Han Shian Ayu was extremely crafty, and there was a bizarre absorptive strength on his sheath. It pulled Long Chen's saber to it, making it so he couldn't immediately retreat. HMPH. Violet lightning suddenly appeared on Long Chen's saber. Han Shian Ayu felt his whole body turn numb, and before he could react, Long Chen's saber had already escaped from his absorption. At the same time, a powerful force pushed him away and allowed Long Chen to retreat. Although Long Chen managed to react in time, Han Shian Ayu's sword still pierced through his clothes, almost reaching his skin. The spectators were unable to sense the profundities behind this exchange. They could only tell that Long Chen had just been a hair away from being killed by Han Shian Ayu. That caused Hua Biluo and the others to sweat nervously. Sometimes on the battlefield, it wasn't the one whose strength was greater that would be the victor. Sometimes the slightest bit of negligence might lead to great regret. How is it? How does it feel to walk along the path of death? Sneered Han Shian Ayu. Have you exhausted your limited abilities? Retorted Long Chen. HMPH, then let me see just how long you can keep up such a distasteful mouth. Han Shian Ayu's sword fluttered through the air, while the sheath in his left hand was like a hidden viper, ready to attack at any time, something impossible to defend against. Long Chen repeatedly brandished his saber, releasing a sky full of saber images to block Han Shian Ayu's attacks. He sneered, it seems you've scammed others so much that you ended up scamming even yourself. Your bogus mind-reading skill might have managed to trick countless people, giving you the sweet taste of success, but it also made you walk down the wrong path. Boom. Forcing back Han Shian Ayu's sword, Long Chen continued, Genuine products are unable to be faked, and fake products are always never able to become genuine. You wasted all that effort to make up your fake mind-reading skill, all to conceal the fact that you were a sword cultivator. By doing this, you had great success. However, you were also affected, thinking yourself clever. You used your sword as a weapon while using the sheath as a shield. Did you think doing this would allow you to possess both offense and defense? Absolutely laughable. What nonsense. This is my self-created combination technique. Sword arts focus on offense, not defense. But by using my sheath as well, I can make up for the weakness of sword arts. HMPH. Such a profound thing is something you couldn't even comprehend. Han Shian Ayu's voice was full of disdain. His words moved everyone. The majority of the people present used swords. His words had pointed out the weakness of the sword Dao, causing countless people's eyes to light up. It was as if they now saw a new path open before them. The sword sheath truly could make up for the weakness of the sword Dao. They felt as if they had been awakened to a new world. Idiot. Do you even understand why sword cultivators are claimed as the cultivators with the strongest attack power? It's because they only care about offense. If you use offense to make up for your defense, using offense to break through all barriers, to advance without ever looking back, if you had such a powerful offense, what would you need defense for? Your technique is an absolute joke, sneered Long Chen. Now Long Chen's words caused those people who had just seen a new pathway for themselves to once more become lost. It was precisely because sword cultivators were known as the strongest attackers that most people chose to use the sword as their weapon. But although there were countless people who used the sword, only those who could comprehend the sword Dao and then condense their own sword intent were able to be called sword cultivators. There were very few such people. 
So Long Chen and Han Shian Iu's words caused people to be bewildered. It seemed as if both of them were correct. You're not a sword cultivator, so you don't have the qualifications to spout rubbish here, raged Han Shian Iu. For an amateur to criticize his sword arts was unacceptable. All the heavenly deos returned to the same point. All laws are from the same source. At the peak of all deos, everything is connected. Since you don't believe it, then I'll show you just what it means to use offense as defense. Long Chen switched to holding his saber with both hands, and with a sudden, thunderous shout, his saber became a blood colored ray that slashed at Han Shian Iu Novelun.com Chapter 442 Ten Temper Translator. Born to be the instant Long Chen began to wield his saber with both hands, his aura completely changed. He was now like some fearless killing god, filled with a valiant air, someone who would charge forward despite any obstructions. A saber came slashing down. There was no technique. There was no fanciness. It was just a simple hack. But it had locked Han Shian Iu down completely, making it so he could only take it head on with his sword. Boom. Han Shian Iu was sent flying. It wasn't that he wasn't as strong but that Long Chen's saber had contained his full power, while he kept a portion of his power for his sheath. Again, Long Chen's saber came slashing out again. What shocked people was that somehow this second slash seemed to contain some of the power of the first. Now this slash made space tremble intensely, as if it were unable to endure that terrifying power. Han Shian I was completely shocked. He had never seen such a move. It was clearly just a simple slash, but there was no way to easily block it. The only thing he could do was take it head on. Perhaps against an ordinary opponent, he could strike at their vitals, causing them to switch to defense. Such a method was practical but useless against Long Chen. All of Long Chen's attacks were full strength attacks. He wouldn't be able to switch to defense with this kind of attack even if he wanted to. So if Han Shian Iu did attack his vitals, all that would mean was that he would die with Long Chen. That was naturally not the result he wanted. Han Shian Iu took a deep breath. Crossing his sword and sheath in front of him, his power completely erupted to block Long Chen's attack. The instant Long Chen's saber arrived, Han Shian Iu almost coughed up blood, and he was knocked back again. The entire crowd was silent. Long Chen's two attacks had been the same. It was the exact same posture, the exact same angle, the exact same arc. It was incredibly simple, something even a child could clearly see. But it was this kind of simple attack that Han Shian Iu was unable to receive. He was blown back twice, dumbfounding everyone. Just who was Han Shian Iu? He was claimed as the super monastery's number one expert. Even in this place where the heroes of seven prefectures had gathered, he stood at the pinnacle. The third attack, in front of everyone's appalled gazes, Long Chen's third slash came down, the exact same as the last two. However, the only difference was this attack contained the power of the previous two, and the saber seemed to contain a volcanic power. The space around it was completely twisted. Boom. Han Shian Iu only managed to barely block it, and he shot out like a cannonball, plowing a mile-long ditch in the ground. For a moment, it was absolutely silent. Everyone was looking at Long Chen with shock, then looking at Han Shian Iu in the distance who was leaning on his sword. None of them were able to say anything. Long Chen rested his saber on his shoulder while looking at Han Shian Iu with a gaze full of disdain and icily looked at Han Shian Iu, disdainfully saying, you don't need to pretend like that. Are you putting on a play? Or should I say, are you an actor? You've yet to use even half of your power. Who are you putting on that act for? What? Guo Ran and the others were shocked. Han Shian Iu was already so terrifying, but he had yet to use even half of his power. Hua Biluo was also completely shocked. If Han Shian Iu had yet to use even half his power now, then when he had fought with her, didn't that mean he hadn't even used a third of his power? You really are an idiot through and through. First acting weak to give me some hope, then displaying your great power to make me feel despair? Han Shian Iu, you really are too hypocritical, sneered Long Chen. Ha 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 ha, Han Shian Iu suddenly laughed, shaking his head. I really wouldn't have thought you'd see that far. I underestimated you. There are many things you haven't thought of. Did you ever think that you would die to my hands today? Never. That's because a person that can kill me, Han Shian Iu has not yet been born. Han Shian Iu brushed off some dust indifferently. It isn't that they haven't been born, but that you hadn't encountered them yet. Now that you've run into me, you're destined to die. That's because you caused the death of my brothers, and I want your head as a sacrifice to their souls. Does slandering others like this have any meaning? How many people here will believe you? 
Han Shian Iyu shook his head disdainfully. That's why I said you're a hypocrite, the same as your sword arts. Although you managed to comprehend a bit of sword intent, you focused completely on your sword techniques, treating that sword in your hand as a tool, and not a belief, not as a companion. You are at best a dabbler sword cultivator. Long Chen's words didn't cause much of a reaction in other people, but Yu Zifeng's body shook. Long Chen was telling him Han Shian Iyu's greatest weak point. As a sword cultivator, the sword was their life. As for Han Shian Iyu, his sword techniques might be exquisite, but his sword intent wasn't strong enough and did not possess the cold killing will that it should. No matter how profound his sword techniques were, they were lacking any substance. No matter what Dao it was, you had to focus on it single-mindedly. Han Shian Iyu had created a sword and sheath combination technique, using strengths to make up for weak points, possessing both offense and defense. On the surface, it looked extremely creative and effective. But in the end, it wasn't the correct path. He had already deviated from the cultivation path he should have taken. At this time, even the other sword cultivators were gradually understanding what Long Chen was saying, and they practically prostrated themselves in admiration for his sharp vision. HMPH, did you think just a few of your words could rattle my Dao heart? You're too childish, sneered Han Shian Iyu. You're the childish one. Didn't you want me to die in my despair? Then I will let you die within endless remorse. Aren't you very confident in your self-made sword arts? Then good. I will defeat Sharingaya where you are most confident and let you know that the thing you are most prideful of is incredibly stupid and laughable. After this final retort, Long Chen no longer wasted words. His saber once more slashed at Han Shian Iyu. Han Shian Iyu had a ridiculing expression on, closing his eyes. When he once more opened them, an explosive sound came from his body and it was as if a dam had been broken, releasing a surging flood. A terrifying aura caused everyone's expressions to change. Ten Temper Realm. Boom. Han Shian Iyu's sword slashed upon Long Chen's saber, and being caught off guard, Long Chen was blown back. Heavens. Han Shian Iyu has already tempered ten bones. Ten Temper. Most of the favored had only tempered two bones, and that was already extremely luxurious. There were some favored and core disciples who had only managed to temper one bone. Some didn't even have the resources to temper a single bone. Tempering ten bones not only required a huge amount of medicinal pills, but it also exhausted a great deal of cultivation time. Just how had Han Shian Iyu done this? This bastard has actually tempered ten bones. Even I only managed to temper eight bones. Mo Nian was a bit indignant. He had already cultivated with his full might. However, he had still been thrown off by his opponent. However, Thinking of the several treasures that now lay in his spatial ring, he didn't feel that disappointed. As for the corrupt path, Yin Luo, Zhu Wuya, and the others were also shocked. They had also only had time to temper eight bones. Han Shian Iyu truly was terrifying. He had to have used some secret technique, or this was absolutely impossible. Even Huo Wufang was startled. Han Shian Iyu was stronger than he had imagined, but the stronger he was, the happier he became. He was already impatient to see the scene of Long Chen dying in complete despair. He had always been brooding about the Phoenix Sparrow Violet Flame that Long Chen had stolen from him. He was still unable to accept it. Although his harvests were also not bad, and he had obtained the Beast Flame ranked 4th on the Beast Flame rankings, he had never let this matter go. His hatred of Long Chen ran extremely deep now. Senior Apprentice Brother Shian Iyu, kill this fiend. Take vengeance for those dead innocents. Senior Apprentice Brother Han, what are you waiting for? You are the Emissary of Justice. Hurry up and kill this traitor of the Righteous Path, returning the Righteous Path to its clear and bright state. Seeing that Han Shian Iyu had released a ten temper aura and definitely had the power to suppress Long Chen, his followers all began to cheer loudly. Many others also followed them. However, there were clearly fewer people than before. Not everyone was so stupid. Although many fiendish images of Long Chen's actions had spread with the first monastery's help, people trusted their eyes more. The domineering pride Long Chen had revealed was clearly different from the scenes in those images. Furthermore, Long Chen's discussion on the essence of the sword Dao had benefited many of them. Such an unfathomable person wouldn't do something like that. Although they didn't know whether or not he was innocent, at the very least, there was a seed of doubt in their hearts, and they no longer all just went with the flow. Long Chen. I'll give you a chance. Kill yourself. I didn't want to have to kill you. If you hadn't committed such sins, I'm sure we would have been friends. Sighed Han Shian Iyu. Long Chen suddenly laughed. 
Now I really am starting to admire you. Your skin really is amazing. Even at this time, you can still continue with this little play of yours. What perseverance. I pity you since you are a generation's genius. And I wanted to leave you with an intact corpse. But you refuse to appreciate my kindness. Instead trying to humiliate me. TCH. You really can't be saved. Han Shian Iu looked at Long Chen with a complicated expression. One that seemed to feel sorrow about the will of the heavens and pity for the fate of man. Senior apprentice brother Shian Iu. You don't need to feel grief over a fiend like him. If you're kind hearted to him. You'll only end up being hurt. Hurry and end this fiend's life. The person speaking at this time was Yun Wushuang. Her voice was sharp and contained a great deal of urgency. The thing she longed to see the most was Long Chen's head falling to the ground. I really want to tear this woman apart. Guo Ran clenched his teeth as he looked at the shouting Yun Wushuang. The others were the same. This woman was the one who had caused all of this. She and Han Shai and I really were unforgivable. Long Chen suddenly laughed. Did you think that just this was enough to defeat your aim? You even want me to kill myself? Could it be that your memory is this lacking? I've already said that I will defeat Chiringayao in the area you are most proud of. Letting you know what remorse is. If you're prepared, then I'm about to begin. Boom. An explosive sound rang out from within Long Chen's body, and a berserk aura surged out that caused all of heaven and earth to tremble, causing everyone's expressions to change. Chapter 443 Battling Fiercely Translator Born to be Boom. A powerful aura surged out of Long Chen's body and terrifying key waves were constantly soaring up into the sky. It was as if a peerless monster had finally opened its eyes. After condensing the Aeliaf star, I never had a true chance to test my strength. Well now I'll let all of you see just how powerful I am. Long Chen snorted inside. The Feng Fu star at the bottom of his foot circulated at its full speed, while the Aeliaf star in his right hand circulated in the opposite direction, with one circulating clockwise and one counterclockwise. Two different energies poured into his body, converging together explosively. This was a way to use the two stars that he had only figured out recently. When these two energies met, they seemed to form a maelstrom, like a volcano about to erupt. A destructive power surged. This kind of power, how terrifying. No one had imagined that Long Chen would be this powerful. Even Favored had to quickly retreat from his aura. They weren't even fighting, but they could sense that in front of Long Chen's power, they were like ants. The slightest carelessness and they would be torn apart just from some random aftershocks noveloon.com even Yun Luo's pupils shrunk. Although Long Chen hadn't reached bone forging, his current power made it so even he found it hard to breathe. Long Chen was truly a freak. Each of his actions toppled people's understandings. He was constantly breaking the rules of this world. Boom. With a final explosion, the dust around Long Chen scattered, and that berserk aura instantly faded. But that just made others feel even more terrified. That was because Long Chen had already concentrated all that berserk energy inside him. None of it leaked out anymore. When did Boss become so strong? Guo Ran and the others were all amazed. In the past few months, they had constantly been with Long Chen. The majority of his time was spent refining pills for everyone. He had rarely spent any time cultivating himself. They had also never seen him attack in all that time. Long Chen truly was enigmatic. Even those who stood by his side every day didn't know his limits. Seeing this battle godlike figure, Men Qi and the others were filled with pride. In this era, strength was the most respected, and strength was also the greatest attraction. No one could resist such attraction. The strong were always the idols to be worshipped. Your aura is powerful, but it's just an outer appearance. Your true abilities are still too lacking. That's very disappointing. Han Shian I was also shocked at first. To be able to release such power a tendon transformation was inconceivable. However, he had absolute confidence in himself. And so his words were still light. Don't worry, I, Long Chen, never let anyone go disappointed. Long Chen merely smiled. Feeling the energy of his two stars making his body brim with energy. He felt incredibly excited. Looks like you're prepared now. Since you want to continue acting so noble, I'll come reveal the truth. Long Chen's foot suddenly stamped on the ground. The ground split apart, and he appeared in front of Han Shian Iu in an instant. A saber slashed through the void. How fast. People were shocked. Even the other top experts. They hadn't even seen Long Chen move. If they were to fight, they wouldn't even have a chance to react before being cut apart. As for Han Shian Iu, he put away his disdainful expression. His sword shook, releasing a rumbling as light began to shine. 
His sword seemed to come to life as he slashed it at Long Chen. The instant their weapons collided, everyone's expressions changed. The weaker disciples had their eardrums shatter, blood flowing out of their ears. Not good. Suddenly, someone let out a startled cry. A terrifying pressure rippled out in all directions. When that ripple touched the ground, boulders were instantly crushed to broken pieces. Those broken pieces shot out at everyone. People hastily fled, but those who were slower let out cries of pain. There were several who were devoured by the ripple and turned to paste. Even Yun Luo and Zhu Wuaya were not able to endure that level of pressure and had no choice but to block that shockwave as they retreated. They only stopped once they were over a mile away. While everyone retreated to a safe distance, Long Chen and Han Shian Ayu had already exchanged a hundred blows. Saber images came in waves and sword key pierced the sky. The two of them fought so intensely that others were unable to even see their figures. They could only see the sky full of saber images and sword key. Too terrifying. This is the power of peak experts. Even those self-important chosen were completely taken aback. Although Han Shian Ayu was called a chosen just like them. In such a fast-paced battle, even if they used their full strength, they might not even be able to receive a single blow. Why is there such a huge power difference? We're also bone-forging experts. Those favored felt even more dejected than the chosen. They didn't even have the ability to approach such a fight, let alone participate. They would be directly blown to pieces if they tried approaching. As for those ordinary core disciples, they were the only ones who didn't sigh with sorrow. For them. This level of battle was something they could only possibly watch. Furthermore, just watching was something they had to do while hiding far away. Every time I see boss fight, I feel my blood boiling. Guo Ran tightly clenched his fists excitedly, having an urge to also charge forward. Gu Yang and the others also agreed completely. Each time Long Chen fought, it was always so wild, so hot-blooded. It truly did raise people's passions. Each one of Long Chen's attacks was filled with his courageous spirit. When a person had transcended the restrictions of life and death, that was the peak of a kind of Dao, and it could let other people feel a resonance in their hearts. Furthermore, his eyes were always calm, unafraid of anything, even death. Each of his attacks was ruthless, aiming to kill his opponent. Mo Nian, Hua Biluo, and Chen Wenlong were peak experts, and yet they had no choice but to admit that Long Chen's fighting style truly was formidable. The most terrifying aspect about him was his powerful will and his fearless determination. The three of them could all sense that his will was incredibly powerful. No one could use their will to suppress him in the slightest. Looks like I really will profit from this transaction, smiled Chen Wenlong. But of course, brothers Chen really is astute. To invest in my boss is definitely the best way to profit. Speaking of which, is your Huaian sect accepting new members? Could this little brother go and try it? Said Guo Ran. Guo Ran. You traitor, you want to leave the monastery, Tang Wan Er said disdainfully. Cough. Ah, of course not. Sister-in-law, I couldn't possibly do that. Guo Ran awkwardly coughed. Zhen Wenlong laughed. To work together with my Huaian sect doesn't require you to become a member of the Huaian sect we're all businessmen. And the point is for it to be mutually beneficial. Guo Ran became excited now that Zhen Wenlong had helped him out. And he immediately gave him a thumbs up. Brother Zhen really is amazing. Truly admirable. But here's one thing this little brother does not understand. Are you really so bold as to bet your everything on my boss? It wasn't just Guo Ran who didn't understand. Even Mo Nian and Hua Biluo were doubtful. In fact, while they were standing together, they kept a certain distance from him. However, Long Chen had agreed to their cooperation, and so they couldn't say anything. But now their ears all perked up in anticipation. Zhen Wenlong smiled slightly, looking at them. He said, it's the same as I said before. Many people don't understand my Huaian sect's disciples, especially how we conduct ourselves. We're businessmen, and business opportunities decide whether we succeed or fail. If you can't even find a business opportunity, then you aren't even a businessman. When it comes to business opportunities, the main point is investment, and risk comes with any investment. The higher the risk, the greater the reward. As a businessman, the thing you must trust the most is your eyesight. Just like with other cultivators, if you have a strong belief, you can advance courageously despite any obstacles. As for us, our belief is in the wealth god, and what we cultivate is the business Dao. Long Chen has also said it. All the heavenly Daos return to the same point. All laws are from the same source, and at the peak of all Daos, everything is connected. This is my first time hearing it being put in such a perfect manner. 
That is even further evidence my investment wasn't wrong. I digress. Our Huayan disciples Teo hearts are our belief. And our belief is that wealth is capable of allowing us to walk to the peak of the martial path. Guo Ran was deeply affected and said. Boss has also told me that as long as I firmly believe in my forging Dao, making it into my belief, then as long as I keep a stable Dao heart, I can also reach the pinnacle. So in reality, it was the same principle as yours. Zhen Wenlong nodded. Long Chen is correct. The most difficult part of cultivation is maintaining a stable Dao heart. On the cultivation path, we will all be given blows. We will all get confused. We will all become lost. And we will all suffer from negative emotions from time to time. That will all affect our Dao hearts. And once your Dao heart crumbles, then you will be like a carriage without a road, a boat without any water. You will lose all orientation, and it will be impossible for you to advance. The business Dao is our belief, and our eyesight is the weapon we trust in the most. We will never doubt our eyesight, because if we doubt it, then that means our Dao heart is already broken and our martial path will also be blocked. Since I trust my vision, and since I can see immense profits coming from this, why would I give up on this opportunity? Mo Nian and Hua Biluo now understood the Huaian disciples' conviction a bit more. Although they still didn't understand it completely, it still made them admire them. There were countless Deos in the world, and they were all different paths to the same destination. The Huaian sect had relied on its business Deo to thrive for countless years, so it definitely had its own powerful foundation. There were many people who didn't understand them, feeling like they were nothing more than profit-seeking merchants. However, those people were completely mistaken. Your life is your greatest investment. If you invested in some object, your profit will always be limited. But if you invested in a person, then what they might bring you in the end is unimaginable. Zhen Wenlong laughed pointedly. Hua Biluo shook, as she realized Zhen Wenlong was talking about her. Wasn't her cooperation with Long Chen also a business transaction? Then it was also a part of the business Dao. Boom. After they finished speaking, Long Chen and Han Shian Ayu collided with an unprecedented power, drawing everyone's gaze. Chapter 444 Nine Line Key Explosion Art Translator Born to be Long Chen and Han Shian Ayu collided with unprecedented power and then both withdrew a hundred meters, looking at each other. Long Chen rested his blood-colored saber on his shoulder, icily saying, I've already said your improved sword Dao is just trash. Your offense can no longer reach its peak, while your defense is just half-assed. The sword Dao is something that has existed for millions of years, and sword cultivators always stood at the peak of cultivators. Did you think using your little smarts to change it would create a new Dao? It's not that I want to look down on you, but I really look down on you. Someone who merely likes to play schemes behind people's backs cannot have any accomplishments. All the experts watching were shocked. Although their fight had been very chaotic, the stronger ones had seen it all very clearly. Long Chen had repeatedly used the same few attacks over and over, but just those moves caused Han Shian Ayu to be flustered. No matter what technique he tried, he was never able to reverse his disadvantage. They had no choice but to doubt his self-created sword Dao. Sword cultivators were claimed as the strongest attackers, but defense was their fatal weak point. Countless sword cultivators had hoped to make up for that deficiency, but none had succeeded. Of course. There were many people who had thought of using the sheath as a shield before. However, its effect had always been lacking. As for Han Shian Ayu, he really was a genius. He had spent endless effort and time on comprehending things others would never have imagined, giving his sheath an absorptive effect and other intricacies that raised its defensive power to the limit. That had shocked everyone and toppled their understanding. But although Han Shian Ayu had reached that point, Long Chen was still able to point out that his innovative technique was just trash and their battle just now proved that he was right. Long Chen's tempest of attacks had just been repeats of a few attacks without any technique to speak of. It was simply that each of his attacks did not leave any leeway. Although each of his attacks was clearly full of openings, he had forced Han Shian Ayu to miserably retreat over and over. Han Shian Ayu could easily see those openings. With a random blow, he could kill Long Chen. But the instant he killed Long Chen, he would definitely die to Long Chen as well. Furthermore, each of Long Chen's attacks contained his full power, and there was no way he could switch to defense. So it was not a bait. This was basically a scoundrel move, forcing Han Shian Ayu to die with him. But how could Han Shian Ayu agree to die with Long Chen? Shameless technique. Han Shian Ayu was trembling with rage. Long Chen was just a scoundrel, making it so his exquisite techniques were unable to release their full power. 
With his cultivation base, it was rare for things to rattle his Dao heart. And yet, now Long Chen had truly given an impact to him. Previously, Long Chen had used a single move to force him to retreat three times. At that time, he had already lost that exchange. Then after erupting with his ten temper power, Long Chen was still able to completely suppress him based on just the same moves. That was another loss. That was something he was unable to accept. The reason Han Shian Iu dared to ignore the corrupt experts and still first focus on Long Chen before the righteous and corrupt battle was because he had absolute confidence in himself, and absolute confidence he would suppress Yun Luo. Han Shian Iu treated this immense righteous and corrupt battle as a stage for him to release his glory and brilliance. As for Long Chen, he was just the opening show before that glorious battle. But Long Chen obstinately said his sword arts were garbage. And after their two exchanges, Han Shian Iu saw that quite a few people's expressions had changed. That filled him with fury. However, he couldn't show that anger. If he expressed his anger, that was accepting that his self-created sword Dao was flawed. HMPH. All you have is a strong tongue. A despicable traitor that slaughters members of the same path wants to discuss the sword Dao? What a joke. Sneered Han Shian Iu. Ha ha ha. I was already looking down on you. But now I look down on you even more. When your own self-created garbage is exposed by others, you have to go attack that person. You, Han Shian Iu, really only have this kind of morality. Sometimes I truly pity you. Doesn't wearing a hypocritical mask all day get tiring? Laughed Long Chen. When would Han Shian Iu have ever been humiliated like this? He was high and above all others. Furthermore, this was done in front of all the righteous and corrupt experts. His killing intent soared furiously. He snorted, even if you have a glib tongue, you can't change the fact that you are a fiend, and you can't wash away your sins. This is just your deathbed struggle to conceal your fear. Now I will use the righteous path's name to end your traitor life. Han Shian I raised his sword, slashing it at Long Chen. Long Chen sneered, what, you don't dare let me respond? Are you afraid if I talk? I'll continue slowly exposing how much of a hypocrite you are? Now I really am looking down on you even more. Go to hell. Han Shian I roared. His body suddenly became covered in a white mist, and a terrifying pressure shot out. Everyone's hearts shook, feeling as if a mountain had fallen on their hearts. They were unable to even breathe. Boom. Long Chen was caught off guard by Han Shian Iu's explosive power, and he was blown back. His stomach jolted, and his organs felt like they were moving inside him. He coughed out a mouthful of blood. What? Guo ran and the others were startled. This reversal was too sudden. Previously, they had been evenly matched, but now Long Chen was sent flying with a single blow, even suffering an injury. People looked at Han Shian Iu. When they saw his face, they all jumped in shock. Han Shian Iu's originally handsome face now had nine lines across it, appearing extremely bizarre. Now, his face was no longer handsome, but twisted like a sinister ghoul. At this time, Han Shian Iu's aura was soaring into the sky, and the space around him was constantly twisting making him seem almost illusory. Yin Luo, Zhu Wuya, and the others all had shocked expressions. This was a battle skill they had never heard of. It had allowed Han Shian Iu's power to explode by several times. This should be the nine-line key explosion art. I really wouldn't have expected Han Shian Iu to have learned it. Zhen Wenlong was also shocked. What is it? Is it powerful? Asked Guo Ran. The nine-line key explosion art is a heaven-class battle skill. When using this key explosion art, your body's spiritual key will be compressed to the pinnacle, allowing you to release up to five times the power. Five times. Han Shian Iu's original combat ability was already incredible. Now that he had five times the power, who could possibly subdue him? Perhaps we should consider going to help. Otherwise, if Long Chen ends up injured, our strength will sharply fall, said Zhen Wenlong. Zhen Wenlong was considering things from a comprehensive point. Long Chen had already displayed a shocking combat ability. As long as he, Mo Nian, and Hua Biluo took action, he trusted there would be no one who would make things hard on them. After all, the corrupt experts were like tigers watching their prey, and the righteous disciples wouldn't go all out at this time. In the end, this matter would be left unresolved, and they could settle their debts outside the secret realm. So in truth, by coming to stand here, he was just intimidating others. But just by showing some imposingness, he would be able to get an enormous favor. That was definitely a huge return. Mo Nian also nodded and was about to move when Guo Ran stopped him. You're all looking down on my boss too much. You should just patiently watch this show. What? 
Zhen Wenlong was startled. Who do you think my boss is? He has many more trump cards. The reason he hasn't shown them yet is because he wants to expose Han Shian Iu's true face bit by bit. This bastard caused so many of our brothers to die. How could my boss let him die so easily? Said Guo Ran hatefully. Brother Guo, are you sure? This is too serious to make a careless mistake. Said Zhen Wenlong. I am 100% sure. Boss will definitely be fine. If he was in danger, I would have been the first to rush out. Guo Ran patted himself on the chest confidently. Long Chen had already said he had a 50% chance of defeating Han Shian Iu. The fight had not reached anywhere close to its climax yet. Mo Nian suddenly thought of something and smiled. I remember now. Long Chen really hasn't used his full strength. Let's just watch. Zhen Wenlong and Hua Biluo exchanged a glance, each seeing the other person's shock. Just how strong was Long Chen? He was only a tendon transformation. The fact he wasn't defeated by a peak genius like Han Shian Iu who was in the Ten Temper Bone Forging Realm was already the limit of their expectations. Zhen Wenlong had taken the risk to stand by Long Chen because he looked favorably upon his talent. As long as Long Chen didn't die, he would definitely rise like a comet, his light shaking the world. What he had been hoping for was to send Long Chen help when he needed it, and when he soared, he would definitely get a huge return. Zhen Wenlong's projection was that after a fierce fight between Long Chen and Han Shian Iu, when Long Chen showed signs of being defeated, he and the others would intervene, and this matter would end here. Everyone would say a few vicious words, something along the lines of just wait for me to get revenge. Blah, blah. However, from the expressions of the 108th Monastery's disciples, he felt this matter was going in a direction he had not expected, causing him some unease. But then he suddenly smiled, mocking himself. It was no wonder it was said that the older you got, the smaller your guts would become. What was the point of thinking about all that? Senior apprentice brother Shian Iu, kill him. Senior apprentice brother Shian Iu, kill him. Senior apprentice brother Shian Iu, kill him. Cheering came in waves. However, the cheering was now essentially only from monastery disciples. Furthermore, it was only from a portion of them. A large majority of the righteous disciples were now just watching. In front of absolute power, all your quibbling is useless. Do you still have any final words? Sneered Han Shian Iu. Long Chen shook his head, patting off some dust. He lightly said, you've stolen my phrase. I often say, in front of absolute strength, all schemes are useless. That's also why when you schemed against me, I couldn't be bothered to take note of it. Instead, I raised my strength as much as possible. However, there was one thing I never thought. I underestimated your shamelessness. I never thought you would implicate innocent people. So today, you and Yun Wushuang must die. In the distance, Yun Wushuang's expression completely changed. Long Chen's words sounded like a demonic curse to her, and she suddenly roared. Brother Shian Iu, quickly kill him. The sect leader has already said that he must die. So hurry up. For a moment, everything was deathly silent. Everyone was looking strangely at Yun Wushuang and Han Shian Iu. Chapter 445 The Dragon Wars The Tiger Battles Translator Born to be Brother Shian Iu. Quickly kill him. The sect leader has already said that he must die. So hurry up. For a moment, everything was deathly silent. Everyone was looking strangely at Yun Wushuang and Han Shian Iu. Only then did Yun Wushuang recover from her terror. But when she looked at those people's gazes, she had no idea what to say. She was truly just too terrified of Long Chen. His words just now had touched upon her sensitive nerves. And by the time she recovered, it was too late. This idiot woman, Han Shian Iu's expression darkened, and he had an urge to slap her. Now that she had said this, Everything had been exposed. What nonsense are you spouting? He roared. Seeing that many gazes full of contempt directed at her, Yin Wushuang was panicked. Now that Han Shian I roared at her, she immediately became crazy. It's already like this. So what's the point of concealing it? Why do you have to bother acting like some good person? You don't want to join my Yun family. Don't think I don't know what you're thinking with that Hua slot. Don't look down on me, because I'm not so easy to bully. You've already obtained so many benefits from my Yun family, but you want to walk away just like that? A grand but unrealistic dream. Although I created the plan to kill Long Chen, didn't you want him dead too? Weren't you the one who put your sights on his women? But you still act like some noble lord. Don't think I don't know about your little plots. Let me tell you, today, you must kill Long Chen, or don't even think about entering my Yun family. 
In fact, I will report it to my family and have your entire Han family exterminated. At this time, Yin Wushuang truly appeared like a shrew, pointing and cursing at Han Shian Iu, her voice ringing out for all to hear. Looking at the crazed Yin Wushuang and then to the dark-faced Han Shian Iu, no one said anything. Even Long Chen was stunned. His original plan was to slowly expose Han Shian Iu's true face for everyone to see. That was also to help Hua Biluo, as she hoped to make Han Shian Iu fall from grace. But this plan of his had now been completed by Yin Wushuang. At this moment, Yin Wushuang had already thrown caution to the wind. In her panic and terror, she could not rest until Long Chen died. No person could possibly understand her terror. Han Shian Iu had always refused to go all out to kill Long Chen in order to maintain his image. And now, her fury with him had erupted. Furthermore, her patience towards Han Shian Iu's unfaithfulness had also reached its limit. With the addition of what she was seeing today, she directly threw away all her face, no longer having any misjivings. The reason Han Shian Iu was so strong was definitely related to how much the Yun family had secretly groomed him over the past few years. Han Shian Iu was like a seed they were grooming, and when the seed was fully matured, they would draw it back into the Yun family. This was a political move, something involving the inner competition in the ancient families. Currently, Han Shian Iu had already begun to reveal his brilliance, but the appearance of Hua Biluo had caused the seed to waver, infuriating Yun Wushuang. Now this rage of hers exploded. Shang Yang, Li Chang, are you too stupid? Junior apprentice sister Wushuang has started babbling nonsense from her terror. You two should go and protect her. Han Shian Iu roared at two experts from the first monastery. Those two hastily ran over and caught Yun Wushuang. By now, she had already vented most of her emotions, and so she had recovered her composure. She didn't resist and let herself be pulled to the side. Long Chen, you bastard, you can die now. Han Shian Iu was filled with fury, and with nowhere else to release it. He looked at Long Chen like Long Chen was the killer of his father. With a furious roar, he charged at him. His sword pointed up to the sky, and an enormous sword image soared causing heaven and earth to rock. Sword light seemed to devour the sky before it slashed down at Long Chen. This attack's power caused everyone's hearts to rise into their throats. Its power had been condensed to the pinnacle, and it was as if the sky was being cut apart. This was Han Shian Iu's first full-strength attack. He now wanted to kill Long Chen without giving him the slightest chance. Boom. The ground split apart and a key wave surged out like a furious tsunami. Even other peak experts had their expressions changed and retreated. This terrifying aftershock sent a huge wave rippling across the earth for a hundred miles. Countless people were buried within the ground. What? When people popped out of the ground, the first thing they did was look towards the battlefield. At that place, there was a man carrying a blood-colored saber, a 300-meter divine ring behind his back. A terrifying energy was surging out of him, causing space to constantly twist. Looking from a distance, it almost seemed like he was enveloped in a water curtain. Everyone's hearts shook. With the assistance of his divine ring, Long Chen seemed so powerful that it was if the world could not bear it. Do you see? This is my boss's peak state. Previously, it was all just a warm-up. Praised Guo ran proudly. However, he was a bit irritated as well as he spat out mud. At this time Shen Wenlong and Hua Biluo were not even listening to Guo ran. They were looking at that figure with his divine ring. Their faces dull and lifeless. Other than a selected few people. Most of those present had never seen Long Chen using his divine ring. They were all incomparably shocked. The current Long Chen truly looked like a devil god carrying a bloodthirsty saber, one that would cause the nine heavens to tremble. This image of Long Chen was carved deeply into everyone's minds, something they would never be able to forget in their lifetimes. Since things have reached this stage, there's no need for little tricks anymore. Surprisingly, your hypocritical mask was exposed by someone else. Well, that means I don't need to waste any more effort. Now that we've reached this point, hand my brother's lives back. Long Chen furiously roared, and his blood-colored saber came slashing at Han Shian Iu. Now his saber released a brilliant scarlet light, as if it was a bloodthirsty monster that had finally woken up. Xianchen weapon. Sensing the pressure from Long Chen's saber, Han Shian Iu's expression changed. The sword he was using right now was a treasure the Yun family had sent him and its material was extremely precious. However, it still hadn't reached the level of a Xianchen weapon. Xianchen weapons were just too precious, and even the Yun family was not willing to randomly send one to him. Who cares if you have a good weapon? You still won't be able to escape your death. 
Han Shianai was filled with envy, and his sword ruthlessly slashed towards Long Chen. Boom. There was another explosion, but this time, it was Long Chen who had initiated it. Han Shianai was blown back. He felt as if his sword had been smashed by a mountain, and the webbing between his finger and thumb split open. Impossible. How can you be so strong? Han Shianai couldn't help roaring. As a peak expert who had tempered ten bones, his power was enough to dominate anyone in the same realm. Furthermore, he was a full realm above Long Chen. With his power, he didn't even place Yun Luo and the others in his eyes. Even though there was a huge battle about to commence, he had still been confident enough to attack Long Chen. But now it seemed Long Chen was an absolute monster. Each time he increased his own strength, Long Chen would follow suit, suppressing him each time. He was practically going crazy. At the same time, he also began to feel uneasy for the first time. This uneasiness also contained a kind of fear. This was the first time he began to feel afraid, and it was to someone who was a whole realm beneath him. Die. Han Shianai roared again. He actually followed Long Chen's style, grasping his sword with both hands and using his sword like a saber, hacking down with his full power. Ah, he's exhausted his limited abilities. Guo Ran sneered, and everyone else was also stunned. Han Shianai's sword was not a broadsword, and using it like this didn't increase his power by much. In fact, using it like this caused him to lose out on a sword's agility. Long Chen snorted, and his saber art suddenly changed styles. Instead of a fierce head-on attack, it became nimble and precise. He stabbed it towards Han Shianai's ribs from an odd angle, alarming everyone. Han Shianai hadn't expected Long Chen to suddenly change styles, and unable to dodge in time. He was almost pierced straight through. However, although his mind-reading skill was bogus, his combat experience was truly vast, and he immediately shifted his body. His robes were cut open, and a light cut open between two of his ribs. Blood slowly flowed out. Looking at that injury, Han Shianayu's fury gradually faded. He had almost lost his life just now. Long Chen's saber contained a berserk energy, and if he was pierced, then that energy would immediately blow up his body. This pain had awakened him. Now, his body suddenly blossomed with light, and his body became brighter than the sun. Tempered bone armor? How did he get enough energy to activate the tempered bone armor? This so-called tempered bone armor was something only those who had tempered four bones or more could use. When they cultivated, they could store their spiritual key in their tempered bones, using them as another storage place other than the Danshan. Furthermore, the spiritual key contained in the tempered bones was at least ten times more condensed than the spiritual key of the Danshan. That energy was a bone-forging expert's final trump card. But in order to store spiritual key within the tempered bones, every bone-forging expert had to exhaust a great deal of time. Mo Nian and the others had done their best, but they had only had time to temper eight bones. They hadn't had the time to store spiritual key. Han Shianayu had to have used some unknown secret technique or there was no way he could have tempered such a shocking amount of bones as well as had time to store spiritual key. It's definitely because of the Yun family. It seems they have some kind of secret technique to increase the speed of bone tempering, said Hua Biluo. She thought of that suddenly because she had glanced at Yun Wushuang. Although Yun Wushuang was still only at the same two temper realm as before, that was only because of her heart devil. Han Shianayu didn't have that restriction. Long Chen, don't be so arrogant. The one to die in the end will still be you. Han Shianayu slowly raised his sword, and the sky was suddenly filled with flying snow. Chapter 446 Heaven Class Battle Skill Translator Born to be flying snow filled the sky. However, it wasn't truly snow, but snowflakes condensed from spiritual key. At the same time, space was constantly trembling as if it might collapse at any moment, horrifying everyone. Heaven Class Battle Skill Aren't heaven class battle skills only usable by meridian opening experts? People were bewildered. However, only a heaven class battle skill could possibly cause such a huge spatial reaction. Long Chen felt an enormous aura lock him down. That aura caused his scalp to turn numb, and he felt an immense sense of danger. Do you know Long Chen? This move of mine was originally supposed to be left for Yun Luo. I always wanted to test just how powerful his natural energy attacks were. You should be honored to die beneath this attack. Han Shianai was filled with hate. Long Chen had ruined his brilliant reputation, causing his prestige to hit rock bottom. Do you feel despair? Regret? It's too late. Following his words, the snowflakes around him began to converge onto his sword. A rumbling sword cry rang out as those snowflakes merged into his sword. 
terrifying sword intent sword, causing heaven and earth to tremble. Mo Nian's expression changed, and he drew his multicolored bow. He was ready to take action at any time, as he sensed just how terrifying this attack was. No matter how strong Long Chen was, his realm was still too low. Even Hua Biluo had taken out her sword, and Chen Wenlong took out a spear. They were all ready to assist at the first moment. Don't be anxious. Boss should be able to handle it. Guo Ran stopped them. No one understood Long Chen better than he did. As expected, even as he said that, Long Chen also slowly raised his saber. He wasn't looking at Han Shian Ayu, but at the saber in his hand. He muttered, this is our first time fighting shoulder to shoulder. Your name is Bloodrinker. Today, I will let your name reappear within the world. Buzz. The blood-colored saber seemed to hear Long Chen's words, and emitted an explosive energy. It was constantly quivering in Long Chen's hands, and a soaring battle intent erupted from it. At this moment, Long Chen felt a new mental connection to it. His Feng Fu star and Aliyah star circulated, and an enormous energy flowed through nine acupuncture points before pouring into blood drinker. But this time, Long Chen noticed a difference from before as his unprecedentedly vast spiritual ki poured through those acupuncture points. Those acupuncture points had previously always been like starving magical beasts. Long Chen's energy had never been enough to satisfy them. But now, those starving acupuncture points were finally full. Furthermore, once the spiritual ki poured through the nine acupuncture points and into his saber, the first acupuncture point trembled intensely, and all its energy was sent to the second acupuncture point. When the first acupuncture point's energy entered the second acupuncture point, that energy suddenly doubled. This was something Long Chen had not encountered before. When he had used Split the Heavens before, his spiritual key was like waves of a river that superimposed before entering his weapon. But now, this was his first time using it to its full power. Not only did the energy superimpose with each acupuncture point, the spiritual key's power would double with each point. This both shocked and delighted Long Chen. Bloodrinker shivered, and then the entire world became calm without the slightest bit of sound. Other people were unable to sense this change in Long Chen. In fact, to others, it seemed Long Chen hadn't done anything at all this entire time. Only the mustached man who had been watching from the distance was filled with shock. How does he know this move? At this time, all the snowflakes had converged into Han Shian Ayu's sword. A long sword tip grew out, cutting apart the world as it slashed at Long Chen. Flying snow frost slash. Long Chen's saber trembled, and a saber image suddenly shot out of it. That scarlet light looked like the blood of a devil king, mournful and terrifying. It collided head-on with Han Shian Ayu's sword. But what astounded everyone was that when those two collided, there was no sound. They could only see white and blood light merging. Run. Boom. A terrifying explosion erupted. It was as if all of heaven and earth was being destroyed, and a powerful ripple was spreading rapidly. Those disciples who were closer didn't have any opportunity to run. They were directly blown to pieces by that ripple. Even Chosen were unable to take it. Seeing this wave of power coming for them, Mo Nian, Hua Biluo, and Chen Wenlong were all startled. This ripple was something they could resist, but the people by their side would all be blown to bits. Heaven Earth Cage. Just as the three of them were about to go all out to resist, trying to stall it for as long as possible, a cry rang out. Layers of wooden stakes appeared in front of them, protecting everyone. Wooden bits shot everywhere. Chu Yao's wooden shield crumbled as soon as it met that ripple. Due to how widely she had spread it, her shield's sturdiness was impacted. She had already expected that, and so she had summoned three shields at once. Although the terrifying ripple destroyed the first two, the third one managed to hold despite being on the verge of collapse. Once the wave passed, Chu Yao scattered her wooden stakes, looking towards the epicenter. The battlefield had completely transformed. Two World Mountain had already collapsed and everything was a mess. Furthermore, the righteous and corrupt disciples had suffered hideous casualties. The range of that shockwave had been too large, and they had been too close. Even Chosen would have died from being struck. The number of people who had met tragedy just now numbered no less than 10,000. Just watching the excitement could be dangerous. That truly was a wise saying. So many experts had now lost their lives just from watching. Boom. At the center of the huge crater. The ground exploded and two figures appeared in front of everyone's eyes, filling them with shock. Are they still human? Those two were naturally Long Chen and Han Shian Ayu. They were both gasping for breath. Han Shian Ayu was covered with blood spots, his face pale. He had taken a heavy injury from that previous exchange. Furthermore, 
Everyone saw that his sword had now shattered. The only thing remaining in his hand was a hilt. As for Long Chen, other than his hair being a bit messy and his body being covered in dust, he clearly wasn't injured. Everyone's hearts shook. That previous exchange had been so powerful that just its aftershocks had killed countless experts. However, the two of them had managed to survive at the heart of that explosion, while Long Chen was even able to come out of it completely fine. That was practically unnatural. Han Shian I really is worthy of being a peak expert. But Long Chen, he's practically a monster. This time I really did profit. Sighed Zhen Wenlong. Zhen Wenlong was also a peak expert. And although he was a businessman, a businessman also naturally required his own powerful strength to protect his merchandise. Otherwise, all businessmen would already have been slaughtered. He was a few years older than the others. And he was much steadier as a person. However, the arrogance in his bones had yet to fade. Originally, he had been preparing to struggle for supremacy in this righteous and corrupt battle, hoping to bring some glory to his Huai insect he had actually been thinking of having a fight with Han Shian Ayu. But after seeing that Han Shian Ayu had reached the Ten Temper Realm, he had given up on that plan. He knew his own limits. But this battle was truly too shocking. His Ten Temper Realm had just been the beginning. Han Shian Ayu had possessed so many trump cards but he had still been suppressed by Long Chen. Even when he used a shocking heaven-class battle skill, he was still unable to defa during Long Chen. Instead, he was the one to suffer injury. It had to be known that no one else present would have the confidence to be able to control a heaven-class battle skill. Han Shian Ayu had already said that he had been planning on leaving that move for Yun Luo. It was something that he had thought would be at least on the same level as Yun Luo's natural energy attack. It was unexpected that it would be defeated by Long Chen. Ugh, let's end this. I dislike this kind of fighting style. Han Shian Ayu suddenly sighed. A white bone appeared in his hand. This bone wasn't large, looking similar to a mouse's skull. It was glossy like jade, emitting a faint light. However, there were some lines on that skull that caused quite a few experts to cry out in shock. A Xianchen Magical Beast's Crystal Bone When a magical beast reached the Xianchen Realm, it was possible for their crystal core to disappear and merge with the bone. That bone would grow those lines that contained their life's energy and their strongest technique. By the time a magical beast reached the Xianchen realm, their bones were harder than steel. Without an outer force, they would never erode. Only the top experts present knew what a crystal bone was and could recognize what Han Shian Ayu was holding. At the same time, they realized that the stories of Han Shian Ayu obtaining an amazing treasure and being busy refining it had to refer to this crystal bone. A crystal bone was on the same level as a Xianchen weapon, and they were even more valuable, because their power could be activated before reaching the Xianchen realm. However, the amount of power you could activate corresponded to your own power. If it was a Xianchen expert who activated it, then the power it would release could one-shot another Xianchen expert. Endless killing intent surged out of Han Shian Ayu. The crystal bone flew out of his hand and floated in front of him. The skull began to grow, becoming 300 meters large and emitting a terrifying pressure. Its two empty eyes stared at Long Chen, looking like the gaze of a death god. Even the distant spectators felt their scalps tingling. Go to hell. The space between Han Shian Ayu's eyebrows split open, and a drop of blood slowly flew out, landing on the crystal bone. The bone's lines immediately lit up. The entire crystal bone seemed to come to life, and a powerful aura once more locked onto Long Chen. A red ray of light shot through the void like lightning. Chapter 447 Crystal Bone vs. Dragon Scale Translator Born to be the instant that red light appeared, each and every person felt their hearts shiver, and a dread that came from the depths of their souls filled them. As for Long Chen, he felt as if a monster was staring at him, and he felt a chill in his bones. A strong sensation of death filled his heart. He instinctively dodged to the side. Due to dodging even before that red light shot out, he just managed to dodge. The light brushing past his shoulder. Boom. The ground exploded as that ray of light pierced straight through. A bottomless ditch appeared wherever that light reached, spreading all the way into the distance. Beyond the horizon, everyone sucked in a cold breath of air. Such an attack had already surpassed their understanding. In front of that attack, even peak experts would be crushed to bits. There was no way they could block it. Looking at the mountain-sized crystal bone floating in the air, as well as the arrogant Han Shian Ayu, all their hearts shook. Han Shian Ayu was too monstrous. He had such immense power and an unending stream of trump cards, each more shocking than the last. Just who could block this crystal bone? 
Han Shiani really is undefeatable. He has already refined the crystal bone and can use its power. That level of attack has the ability to one-shot Meridian opening experts. Long Chen will definitely die. How regretful. Many people sighed. Long Chen and Han Shiani were truly the pinnacle members of the righteous path. Unfortunately, these peerless heavenly geniuses had now become like water and fire, and they were unable to work together against the corrupt path. Otherwise, the corrupt path might very likely be completely annihilated today. Quite a few people were looking at the distant Yun Wushuang who was grinding her teeth. They were filled with disdain for her. They were clearly all righteous disciples, and their powerful enemies were right in front of them. And yet, she didn't want to face that enemy, instead scheming against those on the same side. Such a person was truly the horse that brings trouble to the whole herd. That previous battle had truly been a fierce clash of giants, their incredible imposingness shaking the heavens. However, now that this crystal bone had appeared, everything had ended. That was what most people were thinking. There was no need to doubt Long Chen's strength, but in front of this absolute power, there was no possible chance. Han Xian Iu's luck really had been heaven defying to have obtained a Xianchen magical beast's crystal bone that had decided the conclusion. Let's attack together to kill Han Xian Iu. We won't let him activate the crystal bone again. That's the only way to save Long Chen, suggested Shen Wenlong gravely. It's useless. He's too far. And before we would get close, he would have enough time to activate it. Mo Nian shook his head. With a slightly pained voice, he said, Looks like it's up to me, Mo Nian, to save the day. Well, it's fine. The savior often does come at the most critical time. An arrow appeared in Mo Nian's hand. However, this arrow was pitch black, and people were shocked to see that it was an arrow made of bone. This bone arrow was covered with black lines. However, since the arrow was completely black, these lines weren't very visible, so it wouldn't be possible to see them without a close examination. The arrow lit up, and Chen Wenlong and the others immediately felt that they were unable to breathe. An indistinct pressure seemed to come from the bone arrow. On the surface, they didn't seem to be able to sense anything, but their sharp spiritual perceptions told them this arrow was incredibly terrifying. Just as Mo Nian was preparing to stealthily take action, Long Chen, looking at the crystal bone, smiled. This is your final trump card? The treasure you obtained within the secret realm? Not bad. Really not bad. I really am not able to understand the heavenly deos. Could it be the heavens are blind? To let a shameless and contemptible person like you obtain such a treasure. Long Chen's words caused everyone's expressions to change. Cultivators all relied on the spiritual key of heaven and earth. Their goal was to comprehend the heavenly deos, and they had to comply with the will of the heavens. For Long Chen to dare say such rebellious words, he was publicly in defiance of the heavens. The stronger a cultivator became, the more they would revere the heavenly deos. In this world, perhaps he was the first person who dared openly curse the heavenly deos. Ha ha ha, have you despaired? Knowing that you're definitely going to die today, you want to say some bold and heroic words to play to the crowd? Long Chen, I really do have to feel sorrow for you. Han Shian Iu couldn't help laughing. To be able to force Long Chen to the point of despair was the greatest delight to him right now. Despair? It seems I'm still not at that point, right? Perhaps I might feel such a thing in the future, but a contemptible idiot like you wouldn't be able to make me feel such a thing even if you cultivated for another thousand years. Long Chen shook his head, smiling coldly. Mo Nian and the others were startled. Even at this time, Long Chen's expression was still indifferent. There was not the slightest fear in his eyes. Guo Ran. Does Long Chen still have trump cards? Asked Chen Wenlong. It seems. Maybe. I think. He might. Probably. Not have any more. Guo Ran was unsure. Fuck. Why are you still wasting so many words at this time? Can you please be more precise? I only have this one treasure. If Long Chen can handle it himself. I really am unwilling to waste it. Said Mo Nian. The main thing is that I don't know either. Boss never reveals his full strength. No one knows just how strong he is. But there is one thing I'm sure of, whether or not boss has more trump cards. Han Shian Iu is unable to kill him. That's something he personally said. What did he say? Boss said that he had a 90% chance of at least drawing, 50% chance of defeating him, and 20% chance of killing him. In other words, the chance of Han Shian Iu killing him is, zero. My boss is an unrevealed hero, and he never says an empty talk. So don't worry, my boss will definitely have some method said Guo Ran confidently. His words caused Men Qi and the others to be much more at ease. 
Meng Qi was the one who knew the least of Long Chen's strength. From the start of the battle to now, she had always been on edge. It was Tang Wan'er and Chu Yao who constantly comforted her. As for Mo Nian, when he thought about it, it seemed Long Chen really was always a dependable person. Furthermore, a person like him with so many wicked tricks definitely wouldn't be easy to kill. In the end, he decided to put down his bow. Treasures couldn't be exposed for nothing. That was a principle that had held true for millennia. Zhen Wenlong smiled bitterly. Long Chen was practically a monster. This time, he really had to admit his eyesight had been wrong. Long Chen was much, much stronger than he had predicted. But of course, he was celebrating inside. The stronger Long Chen was, then the more profit would come from being his friend. They all set aside their worry and continued watching the battle. Han Shian Iu looked disdainfully at Long Chen. Perhaps you don't know, but I purposely let you dodge that attack. I didn't use the crystal bones attack to lock you down, giving you a slight hope. Killing you just like that would have been too regretful. After all, you are someone capable of fighting against me, Han Shian Iu. You have the right to some final moments before your death. I will give you some time. You can say goodbye to your friends. After that, you will be dying without a corpse. After he finished speaking, he saw that Long Chen was just indifferently looking at him. It was completely different from the enraged image of him full of despair he was expecting. This is your last chance. This is a great grace from me, so cherish it properly, said Han Shian Iu. Long Chen icily looked back at him. I've had enough of your unchanging posturing. You really don't have any quality content. It seems you haven't heard of a certain phrase. If your posturing arts aren't up to par, then you'll just posture yourself into being an idiot. Their words caused everyone to become lifeless. These two were peak experts? How come their words were so vulgar? Novaloon.com What is posturing? 1. I don't get it. Asked Men Ki. She and the other women didn't understand. They looked at Guo Ran, hoping for him to explain. Cough. U-H-H. It seems this term is a descriptive adverb. When it comes to writing and literature, my academics were never that good. Big brother Mo Nian, you come from a noble family. I'm sure you must know what it means. Guo ran directly through this burden to Mo Nian. Mo Nian's face instantly darkened. Guo ran really was worthy of being Long Chen's subordinate. Even Long Chen's wickedness had been passed down to him. He, a grand expert, the junior gate master of Mo Gate could not possibly explain such a vulgar term. Looking at Men Qi and the others innocently looking at him, he had an urge to throttle Guo Ran. He had seen scammers before, but he had never seen such a scammer. Brother Guo has really overpraised this junior brother. This junior brother has spent his life cultivating, and other than being in seclusion, all I did was slaughter. This is my first time hearing this kind of term, and although I don't understand it, you all don't need to be dejected. When he reached this point, Mo Nian glanced at Zhen Wenlong. Zhen Wenlong immediately had a bad feeling, and as expected, Mo Nian continued, Brother Zhen is a businessman, and he has traveled all around the world. He is worldly and wise, possessing knowledge of all things. I'm sure he definitely knows what that word means. Those Mo Gate disciples behind Mo Nian all looked at them oddly. There truly were some of them who didn't know what that word meant. As for the Huaian sect disciples, they were all much more learned. Coming into contact with people from all kinds of schools and religions. Bei Ling couldn't help turning red. Zhen Wenlong couldn't help cursing these two inside. At this time, he didn't have anyone else to push this trouble onto. It wasn't as if he could toss it to Huabiluo. In fact, Huabiluo also had a bewildered expression on. And it was obvious she also didn't understand what it meant. This was a vulgar word circulated around in the secular world. Although he was a businessman. He really couldn't thicken his face enough to push this onto her. Just as he didn't know what to say, his eyes suddenly brightened and he exclaimed, Long Chen's starting to counterattack. They all turned to look at Long Chen. He extended his right hand, and a palm-sized green scale floated out of his hand. This action immediately drew everyone's attention. That green scale didn't release the slightest bit of pressure. It looked just like an ordinary fish scale. The only difference was that this scale had a white crescent moon design on it. Seeing that scale, Han Shian Iu's heart tightened. For some unknown reason, he had an extremely bad feeling. Die. Another drop of blood flew out of his forehead to land on his crystal bone. A terrifying pressure locked Long Chen tightly in place. A red ray once more shot out at him. Long Chen smiled coldly, and the scale in his hand suddenly blossomed with light. It was like the sun as it smashed into that red light. Chapter 448 Exhaust You to Death Translator Born to be the instant the dragon scale and the red ray collided, 
A blinding light made everyone turn away. Only several breaths time later did their vision recover. Although that light was still harsh, the peak experts were now able to see through it. The scale from Long Chen's hand was now floating in the air. It had grown to become a similar size to the crystal bone. A green light was coming from it that blocked the red light of the crystal bone. The space where they were colliding was constantly shuddering. What? It blocked the crystal bone. What is that scale? What kind of magical beast scale could possibly block the attack of a Xi'anchen crystal bone? People felt as if they were going crazy. If Long Chen had also taken out a crystal bone, then that would have been acceptable. But this was just a scale. How could a scale block the power of a crystal bone? Space was constantly rumbling. The scale was linked to Long Chen's mind and was capable of drawing on Long Chen's spiritual key. It began to force back the red light. How is this possible? Han Shianaya was shocked and furious. Another drop of blood flew out from his forehead and onto the crystal bone. In truth, this crystal bone was not something he had obtained himself. It was something a righteous chosen had obtained inside a secret cave. However, he had been noticed by Han Shianayu. After killing him, Han Shianayu had spent a great deal of time studying it, finding it to be a bone from an ancient magical beast. The lines on the bone were magical beast runes, something that could only be formed once a magical beast reached the Xi'anchen realm. They would brand their strongest attack onto their crystal bone, and as long as you had enough energy, you could activate that ability. Furthermore, you wouldn't need to accumulate energy like ordinary magical beasts. Han Shianayu had spent a great deal of time and effort in order to refine it. However, his strength was still not high enough, and so he was unable to use his spiritual key to activate the beast runes. He had no choice but to use his purest essence blood energy to summon its power. After it received the energy within his essence blood, the crystal bone's light increased somewhat, blocking the advance of Long Chen's dragon scale. HMPH, let's see just how much essence blood you can use. Long Chen snorted. After advancing to the ninth vestige of tendon transformation, his spiritual key was vast like an ocean. Furthermore, with the support of his divine ring, his spiritual key was constantly being replenished. The only time he had exhausted his spiritual key in this fight was when using Split the Heavens. Despite how much spiritual key he possessed now, it had immediately used up a third of it. Now, Long Chen was sure of one thing. Split the Heavens was actually a heaven-class battle skill. He had never imagined that the ruined battle skill he had obtained in trade for a garbage medicinal pill would actually have reached the heaven class. Each time Long Chen had used Split the Heavens, it had never disappointed him. It had always been his strongest trump card that had allowed him to reverse the tide. Now, he had finally had enough spiritual key to use it to its full potential, proving its immense power. Although its consumption was also terrifying, Long Chen was still extremely delighted. He still had half his spiritual key now. With his divine ring, as long as he didn't release any ultimate moves like split the heavens again, his spiritual key would rapidly recover, and he could definitely exhaust Han Shianayu. After the second drop of essence blood, Han Shianayu's attack managed to suppress the dragon scale, but his delight only lasted for a moment before his expression turned ugly. The dragon scale had only retreated for a moment. Now it was as if it was being supported by some kind of energy and was once more slowly suppressing the crystal bone. Bastard, I refuse to believe this. Han Shianayu clenched his teeth and once more extracted a drop of essence blood. This drop allowed him to take the advantage again for another breath's time, before Long Chen's dragon scale once more began to suppress him. Although he didn't recognize what that scale was, he could sense just how dangerous it was. He absolutely could not allow it to approach him. He had no choice but to once more extract a drop of essence blood. But this time, his face became slightly pale after it flew out. This essence blood he was extracting was not ordinary essence blood. With each drop, he was extracting all the purest energy within his blood. Doing so was very harmful to the body. One or two drops was no problem, and even three to five drops was something acceptable. After some rest and taking some medicines, that could be recovered from. But once you extracted so much that it surpassed your body's limit, that would destroy any chance of you reaching the Xi'anchen realm. However, Han Shianayu could not stop. Despite this suffering, he could only continue extracting this essence blood. His only hope right now was to exhaust all of Long Chen's energy. This was now a battle of attrition, and the winner would be who could hold on the longest. Green and red light constantly collided, causing the void to tremble around them. Everything within a hundred miles was enveloped by those two lights. Just what scale is that? 
How can it be so strong that it can resist a crystal bone? Asked Mo Nian. It wasn't just Mo Nian who was stunned. This was also the question that everyone else wanted to ask. A scale was just a shed piece of skin from a magical beast. However, a crystal bone contained all the magical beast's essence. The two of them should not be even close to the same level. That caused many people to be at a loss. However, none of them noticed a shocked expression flit through Zhen Wenlong's eyes. I can't be wrong. This has to be something from legends. Could it be that this world really does have dragons? They aren't just myths. With his learning, Zhen Wenlong had naturally been able to recognize this reverse scale. However, Many people were unable to connect this scale with the dragons that existed only within legend. In the current world, there were far too many magical beasts with scales. They naturally wouldn't think it was something so legendary. Long Chen really has heaven-defying luck. He even managed to obtain something that only exists in legends. Hen Wenlong was filled with emotion. If he was right, then this entire scenario made sense. Everyone was closely staring at the scale and crystal bone. Quite a few people had recovered from their horror and now some greed had appeared in their eyes. Those were both top treasures that anyone would go crazy for. However, although many people had that kind of thought, they didn't have that kind of courage. For the ordinary people here, let alone snatching those treasures, they would be crushed to death just from the aftershocks. Long Chen really is a monster. Han Shian Ayu has lost. Sighed Mo Nian. What? Aren't they still even now? Asked Gu Yang. That ring of light behind Long Chen is rapidly absorbing spiritual key for Long Chen. I really have never seen such a terrifying technique. It's like a whale inhaling water. Such a battle skill can let a person always keep up their spiritual key. As for that pretty boy Han Shian Ayu, do you not see how his face is getting paler and paler? He's clearly lost too much blood. Even if his entire body was filled with only blood, he still wouldn't be able to exhaust Long Chen. Sooner or later, he won't be able to keep it up. Now that Mo Nian said this, everyone nodded. Although they were far from the battle, they could also all sense the flow of the spiritual key around them. And naturally that direction was towards Long Chen's divine ring. The spiritual key within hundreds of miles was being crazily absorbed by him. At this point, it could be said that Long Chen was in an invincible position. As for Han Shian Ayu, it truly was as Mo Nian said. His pale face was getting paler by the minute, and terror had begun to appear in his eyes. He had also sensed that the situation was not good. At the beginning, he had thought his essence blood would be able to exhaust Long Chen's spiritual key. But that ring of light behind Long Chen was constantly drawing the spiritual key from all directions. As for him, each drop of essence blood was something he could not recover in such a short time. If this continued, then he would be the one exhausted first. Those subordinate to the Zhuanshan Super Monastery, I use the authority of the first monastery to order you to kill the traitor Long Chen. The first monastery's disciples didn't even need to think. They all took out their weapons and charged at Long Chen. Under the lead of the first monastery, those monasteries that were subordinate to them also took out their weapons. Kill Long Chen. Purify our righteous path. It was unknown who took the lead to shout, but all those who were affiliated with the first monastery charged. Boom. Suddenly, a ray of light exploded in front of them. A group of people blocked their way. They were Guo Ran, Zhen Wenlong. Hua Biluo, Mo Nian, and all their people. Each of them had taken out their weapons, their killing intent surging. Icily looking at these people, Mo Nian couldn't help but sneer. You dare ignore us? You really must not know what death is. Seeing them block their way, Yin Wushuang and the other top experts retreated a few steps. With such people blocking their way, there was no way for them to launch a sneak attack. Yin Wushuang sharply cried out, You're all acting as accomplices. By protecting such an evildoer, are you planning on becoming enemies with the entire righteous path? Shut up. An evil woman like you also calls yourself a member of the righteous path? Please. Furthermore, do you think just a word from you can represent the entire righteous path? You really are a fool. Do you not even know your own conduct? Guo Ran viciously spat on the ground. Brother, I really admire your eloquence. Mo Nian gave Guo Ran two thumbs up for his brilliant cursing of others. As for Gu Yang and the others, they were also pleased with his words. This BTCH had caused so many people to die. They really had an urge to bite her to death. Guo Ran's cursing really was satisfying. She can't represent the righteous path, but I can. Suddenly, a disdainful sneer rang out, and everyone's expressions changed. Chapter 449 Hua Biluo's Fury Translator Born to be she can't represent the righteous path, but I can. Hua Wufang walked to the front. 
Huo Wu Fang, your pill tower is a neutral party. Are you trying to bring on the public's wrath? Raged Hua Biluo. The pill tower's position was transcendent. They didn't stick their hands into the struggle between the righteous and corrupt paths. Everyone was startled that Huo Wu Fang would stand out at this time. What I'm doing right now has nothing to do with the pill tower. I just find a certain person very displeasing. He stole my things, and I've already said I would make him regret it. Right now, I will use my position to attest that Long Chen is wicked beyond redemption. He willfully slaughters the innocent, and I will take the place of the heavens to punish him. What can you do to me? Sneered Hua Wu Fang. You, you really are bullying excessively. Hua Biluo's body was trembling with rage. Hua Wu Fang was clearly just being shameless. With his grudge with Long Chen, they thought of an extremely frightening result from him standing out now. Hua Wu Fang, the pill tower is controlled by the Che, Fang, and Huo families. It is not controlled by just your Huo family. You should think about the consequences of your actions, said Chen Wenlong. A little peddler like you doesn't have the right to speak to me. How much could you possibly know about my pill tower's matters? Let me tell you, today, Long Chen must die. I don't care if he's innocent, and I don't care if he's guilty. My goal is very simple. I want him to feel regret, and I want him to die. He wants to steal something of mine? He, then he can use his life as repayment, sneered Hua Wu Fang. He then pointed at Hua Biluo. Hua Biluo, your Hua family sent your family head's daughter to marry into my Hua family two years ago. Each year, you enjoy a certain discount, allowing you to save a great deal of wealth. Furthermore, you even stealthily sold the medicinal pills you bought from us, swindling even more profit. Did you think your little tricks could be hidden from my Huo family? Hurry up and scram from here. Otherwise, when I return, I will cut off your Huo family from medicinal pills. At that time, I trust your family head would definitely hand you over to me for me to enjoy as I please. You, Huo Biluo's expression completely changed. In her Huo family, her position was not extremely high. She was just a member from a branch bloodline. It was only because she had a high enough talent that she was treated well. As for the matter of her Hua family stealthily selling the discounted medicinal pills, she did know a bit about it. She really hadn't expected Hua Wufang to know all about it, and for him to even use it to threaten her. If Hua Wufang was telling the truth and he really cut off her Hua family's medicinal pills, well, even an ancient family would decline without the support of medicinal pills. That was something the family head would definitely not permit. To send her to Hua Wufang as an apology. To sacrifice a single genius in the benefit of the family, the family head would definitely not hesitate for a moment. In her shock and fury, Hua Biluo even began to cry tears of grief. However, she was helpless to change this. Everyone, I'm sorry, don't worry, we all understand your troubles. You can just help cheer for us in the distance. Watch how we handle these idiots, laughed Guo Ran. With Long Chen not amongst them, he was the deputy and the deputy naturally had to display the same heroism as his superior. Guo Ran didn't want to make things hard on Hua Biluo. If she really stood by Long Chen's side, then there was no way she could endure the consequences. Hua Biluo covered her face with her hand and hurried away. Those few experts by her side could also only powerlessly follow. She had only brought seven of her chosen here. They were the greatest strength she had right now. As for the others, they were too weak, and she didn't want them to be sent to their deaths. As long as they had the right heart, it was enough. Since they were loyal, she would go all out to groom them in the future. The thing known as loyalty was truly too difficult to obtain. That was something Long Chen had taught her Noveloon.com now. The end result for her was just humiliation. She could only leave sadly without helping Long Chen at all. After she left, Hua Wufang smiled mockingly. Looking at Mo Nian, he began, As for your king prefectures Mo Gate shut up. Is the great name of Mo Gate something an idiot like you can say? Keep your farts inside. Your face is as ugly as a stove. Did you think you were so amazing that your ugliness could scare me away? Before Hua Wufang could finish, Mo Nian interrupted. After cursing him, Mo Nian felt much more refreshed. Didn't his family always like to say that he didn't know how to cause trouble? He wanted to see if they could say that again this time. Amazing. What splendid cursing. Big brother Mo. This cursing is truly exquisite. Junior brother truly admires you. Guo Ran looked up to Mo Nian fawningly, as if he had met his soulmate. Ah, you overpraise me. Brother Guo, aren't you just as amazing? Mo Nian said modestly. You, you too, you're looking to die. Huo Wufang trembled from rage. Other than Long Chen, 
This was the first time he encountered someone who dared treat him like this, and even Long Chen had chosen to step back, offering to split half the Needon with him. However, he had wanted the whole thing, and so they had fought. As for Mo Nian, he was just openly cursing him without any regard for his status. He was so furious, his face ended up twisted, truly looking like a stove. He was completely red, making it seem like the stove was lit. All experts of the righteous path, listen to my orders. I. Huo Wufang, ask you to help me to eliminate these dregs in front of us. Whoever helps will get a favor from me. What I say definitely counts, and you can even record it with a photographic jade, shouted Huo Wufang. Huo Wufang's promise caused a huge commotion amongst the righteous disciples. He came from the pill tower, and from his tone, it seemed he was an extremely high-level member there. Every power required medicinal pills. Most of those were purchased from the pill tower. If they could create a good relationship with Huo Wufang, then that was a huge benefit to their sects. Furthermore, the fact that Huo Wufang was promising like this, even allowing them to record it with photographic jades, meant that he really had that ability. Kill. Long Chen is a homicidal fiend, capable of rape, pillaging, and all kinds of indescribable crimes. Charge. That fiend. He can't be allowed to escape the punishment of justice. Use his blood to wash away his stain on the righteous path. Clean our righteous path of evil. Kill Long Chen. In the first moment, over half the experts of the righteous path directly charged at Long Chen, infuriating Mo Nian and the others. These bastards. They clearly know Long Chen is innocent, but for a favor, they can still sell out their conscience. Absolutely vile. Veins bulged on Guo Ran's forehead. The most hateful would have to be that Huo Wu Fang. That bastard wants us to go head on with these idiots, making it so we both suffer losses. In the end, there won't be many of them capable of surviving. He won't need to do much as a favor. Just a simple discount can appease them. Zhen Wenlong was also clenching his teeth. Facing this tide of righteous disciples, they didn't know what to do exactly. After all, they were all righteous disciples, and they should have been standing on the same side. But now they were charging at them with their weapons raised malevolently. Let's kill them. Mo Nian was filled with fury. These idiots didn't care about right or wrong. Raising his bow. An arrow made of spiritual key shot forward. Boom. The arrow exploded in front of those attackers. Mo Nian hadn't really been aiming to kill them, but just to intimidate them. And so his arrow didn't really have much power. These accomplices are also fiends. Kill them all with Long Chen. Don't hesitate, as we're just taking the place of the heavens. However, instead of intimidating them, Mo Nian's attack only ignited their fury. With a furious roar. Their auras erupted out completely and they charged with even greater zeal. These god MN fuckers. Mo Nian couldn't endure it any longer and exploded with curses. His bow shook, and a dozen arrows shot out. The arrows all landed in their midsts, and dozens of them were killed. However, this didn't halt their advance. God knit, why do they never have this kind of bravery when fighting against the corrupt path? Raged Mo Nian. That's because they don't see any profit against the corrupt path. As for why they're going all out now. It's all for that favor. As long as they can bring that favor to their sects, they'll immediately begin soaring. Even their sect leaders would probably give them special attention. Zhen Wenlong had a ridiculing expression. He had managed to see through all of this. As a businessman, he could immediately realize what everyone's interests were. There was just one thing he didn't understand. These idiots could see the benefits. But could it be they didn't see the danger? Did they think that they were fat sheep for the killing? All they seemed to see was that they had a numbers advantage. Did they not know that the members of Long Chen's present alliance were even more terrifying than those experts of the corrupt path? You don't need to hesitate. Have free reign to kill them all. Your hesitation will only cause those friends beside you to lose their lives. In this world, there are no innocent people. There are only idiots whose eyes have turned red with greed. If you decide to be merciful, they will return your mercy with suffering. Kill them. Such people are trash. Against real enemies, they are filled with terror, but against their own people, their weapons never hesitate. Guo Ran, kill them all. Long Chen's voice rang out across the entire battlefield. Everyone heard it extremely clearly. His last sentence caused a ruthlessness to fill Guo Ran, and countless spatial stones activated around him. Those were all cores of spatial rings. Guo Ran had embedded them into his flesh, and so with the thought of his spiritual strength, the things within those spatial rocks were all summoned out. His body became covered in armor, turning him into a metallic monster. Facing that huge group charging at them, he roared. Die. His arms shook, 
and many little holes opened on his armor, all pointed at them. Chapter 450 Heroes Fight a Bloody Battle Translator Born to be countless black lights shot out of Guo Ran's metallic arms, wreaking havoc amongst the attackers. Blood splashed, and miserable cries rang. When those black lights pierced through a body, the entire body would explode. This had happened so suddenly that even Mo Nian and Shen Wenlong jumped in shock. How fiendish. Don't be afraid everyone. They don't have many people, and as long as we get close, we can still crush them to death. Someone loudly shouted. Long Chen kills people without any regard to the value of life. Each person by his side is also evil. Everyone charged together to purify our righteous path. A woman's sharp cry rang out. Fuck. This damn BTCH. Guo Ran could tell that this was Yun Wushuang's voice. However, they had a tide of enemies surging towards them, and so he had no time to find her. He shouted, Brothers, you've all seen that these are all idiots who can't distinguish between right and wrong. We don't need to have any misjivings. Kill them all. Boom. Those righteous experts finally managed to get close to them. With an angry roar, countless openings appeared all over Guo Ran's armor. Black lights devastated the attackers, and flesh flew through the air. A pile of mincemeat appeared in front of Guo Ran. Mo Nian raised his bow, and terrifying arrows tore through their ranks. Wherever his arrow flew, corpses would follow. As for those archers behind Mo Nian, they were constantly raining a hail of arrows into the ground. They were all truly divine archers, and their arrows were targeted towards the experts. Each arrow was extremely accurate. The killing power of these 300 people was truly terrifying. Zhen Wenlong's spear fluttered through the air. With each swing, a chosen would die. But suddenly, a chilly aura enveloped him, and he hastily swung his spear behind him. Boom. His spear blocked another spear that had tried to sneak attack him. You are the seven underworld gates Sun Hao. Zhen Wenlong was startled. This attacker was a peak expert of the Seven Underworld Gate, so Zhen Wenlong naturally recognized him, but he hadn't expected even him to join in now. For a favor, you have to put aside other things. I hope Brother Zhen won't mind, said Sun Hao. This is not some ordinary competition, but a true life and death battle. Don't regret it, said Zhen Wenlong. Don't be so serious. This is none of my business. All I have to do is entangle you for a bit, and once Long Chen is dead, I can report my success. Brothers Heng is a businessman. So can it be you can't tell what's about to happen? Long Chen will definitely die today. Why must you go all out? Wouldn't it be better to also get a favor? Advised Sun Hao. Zhen Wenlong's expression turned icy. I, Zhen Wenlong, am a businessman. But to do business, the most important thing is integrity. Since I've chosen to invest in him, then even death wouldn't change my decision. You should leave. Don't end up sending yourself to your death, Zhen Wenlong. Don't refuse to give face. I'm advising you for your own good. Don't think I'm actually afraid of you, raged Sun Hao. Then you can die. Zhen Wenlong's eight temper aura erupted, and his spear smashed toward Sun Hao. Sun Hao raised his spear to block, but he was horrified to realize he had underestimated Zhen Wenlong's strength. He coughed up a mouthful of blood, his inner organs almost displacing. Sun Hao was the Seven Underworld Gate's number one expert and his strength was even slightly greater than experts of Yun Wushuang's level. He could just manage to count as a peak expert. However, he was unable to receive a single blow from Zhen Wenlong. Die. Zhen Wenlong sent his spear in for the kill. He knew there was no room for compassion on this battlefield. That would just be sending yourself to death. If they dared to attack, then they were enemies. And since they were enemies, they needed to be eliminated without the slightest mercy. Bang. Zhen Wenlong's arm shook intensely. A sword had slashed onto his spear, saving Sun Hao. Shin Guren, you dare. Zhen Wenlong recognized this person as also someone from a large sect, and his power was similar to Sun Hao's. Zhen Wenlong suddenly retreated as a huge hammer smashed where he had just been. A huge crater appeared on that spot instead. Another peak expert had joined in. Zhen Wenlong's spear danced through the air as he faced off against these three peak experts. But then, another expert joined hands with them, completely surrounding him. He couldn't help being startled and furious. He hadn't expected there to be this many idiots. Even those peak experts had become idiots. However, he then suddenly realized that with more and more experts joining in, the righteous side now had a clear superiority. So these top experts were joining in just to take advantage. Zhen Wenlong was besieged by four people, while Mo Nian's expression was dark as he stared at the three people in front of him. Killing intent was surging out of him. Are you three sure you want to become enemies with my Mo Gate? Mo Nian's voice was icy. 
Young Master Mo, we don't dare do such a thing. You are our King Prefecture's hegemon. With each one of your steps, all of King Prefecture trembles. Of course we don't dare become enemies with you. But as righteous disciples, we must uphold justice. To defend the weak from the strong. To eliminate evil from our world. Right now, we will simply be taking the place of the heavens to block you for a bit. An emaciated man sinisterly laughed at Mo Nian. Mo Nian's expression was extremely ugly. These three were the top disciples of King Prefecture. They came from three different sects, and they were all exceptionally powerful. Unfortunately for them, Mo Nian still stood at the peak. No one could shake him from that position. These three might be heavenly geniuses unrevealed within the same realm, but they were outshined by Mo Nian. If it was a one-on-one, -on -one, Mo Nian could beat them to the point that they wouldn't even recognize themselves. But if the three of them joined hands against him, that was different. His fury soared. For them to target him at this time, Hua Wufang's promise was only part of the reason. The other reason was that they wanted to make up for all their grievance. Then you can all die. Mo Nian's bow trembled as thousands of rays of light enveloped the three of them. A terrifying aura instantly erupted. Mo Nian's killing intent was finally, truly provoked. The three of them didn't have much enmity with him. After all, they all commonly appeared in King Prefecture, and none of them wanted to offend the others. However, Long Chen's matter was huge, and these three had decided to interfere. Now Mo Nian's killing intent was truly provoked, and he truly wanted to kill these three idiots. Aya, young master Mo is mad. How scary. A sarcastic mocking came from one of them. Careful. The two beside him shouted at the same time, and their weapons began to shine, slashing at Mo Nian. That careless one who had mocked Mo Nian had an arrow pierce straight through his weapon and explode his shoulder. Originally. That arrow was aimed for his head. However, he was also an extremely strong person, and the instant that arrow was about to reach him, he dodged to the side, but it still struck his shoulder, turning his face purple. When they had fought before, Mo Nian had never used such heavy attacks, but this time Mo Nian really was planning on killing them. Noveloon.com attack. We don't need to kill him. As long as we stall him, others will be able to kill Long Chen. One of them raised his weapon and charged at Mo Nian. As for the injured one, he consumed a medicinal pill. Enduring the pain, he also joined them. Due to how familiar they were with Mo Nian's attacks, the three of them were able to surround him and attack him from all sides. Mo Nian roared with fury, but he was also unable to do anything about it. After all, the three of them together were around the same power level as him. Seeing that the peak experts of the righteous path had blocked Shen Wenlong and Mo Nian, quite a few others directly went around the others to attack Long Chen. With Long Chen busy with fighting Han Shian Ayu, Long Chen's defensive strength must be essentially zero right now. As long as they attacked, they could definitely kill him. If Long Chen dared focus on them, Han Shian Ayu's crystal bone would immediately kill him. Furthermore, there were many people who had long since placed their intentions on Long Chen's mysterious scale. Dreams coil around the soul. A cry rang out. Those experts suddenly felt as if they had entered a dream. Men Ki's eyes were closed and she was still holding a strange hand seal in front of her. A bit of unwillingness had appeared on her face. Her soul energy was incredibly vast. Those experts who had just been about to pass by them instantly entered a half-sleeping state. Wind murders all directions the void trembled intensely. The wind was like millions and millions of blades flying through their midst. The sound of wind blades cutting through flesh caused people to feel numb. Thousands of experts had been cut to pieces. Tang Wan'er had constantly refined the energy within the wind spirit stones, and her comprehension over wind energy had increased to a new level. Her wind blades were now even more terrifying, capable of easily piercing armor and bodies. She had a slightly uneasy expression. This was her first time killing people in such numbers. Furthermore, they were righteous disciples. However, for Long Chen, there was no way around it. Treating these people with kindness was to treat Long Chen with cruelness. What vicious women! They're just the same as Long Chen, indiscriminate murderers who kill without batting an eye. Even if we all have to die, we still have to kill them to purify our righteous path. A sharp cry rang out from the crowd. Everyone was constantly fighting. As time went by, more and more experts began to join in, increasing the pressure on them. Suddenly, a large man with the huge broadsword passed by everyone and rushed over in Long Chen's direction. Chapter 451 The Heaven Splitting Divine Sect Translator Born to be suddenly, a large man with the huge broadsword passed by everyone and rushed over in Long Chen's direction. Spiritual illusion. Men Qi shouted and an illusory image appeared in front of that person. 
That illusion was transparent, and it had the same form as Menki. The person rushing forward was that mustached man who hadn't said a single word from the very start. It was unexpected for him to take action at this time. HMPH. The mustached man snorted and an ancient copper bracelet on his wrist lit up. It protected him and directly smashed apart Menki's spiritual avatar. A soul-suppressing item. Menki was startled. It had to be known that the attack she had just used was incredibly powerful, as she had sensed that this man was extremely terrifying, perhaps not even lacking when compared to Han Shian Ai or Yun Luo. So this spiritual attack had contained her full power. Even ordinary protective soul items would have instantly been broken. It had to be known that Menki's vast soul energy was even stronger than Long Chan's. With just one ultimate move, she had managed to block all those charging experts. There had been quite a few people amongst them who possessed soul items to protect themselves. But in front of Menki's powerful soul energy, those soul items would run out of energy in just a moment, and they would still be killed. That was the most terrifying ability of soul cultivators. Their attack silently targeted the soul, causing a person to die in an instant. However, her attack had been destroyed by this mustached man. Menki could sense that his bracelet contained a huge amount of soul energy. That soul item was not ordinary, and had to be high grade amongst soul items. Their other name was soul suppressing item. A soul suppressing item had a higher quality than ordinary soul items, and it didn't even need to be activated. When it encountered a spiritual attack, it would instantly activate to protect its owner. Menki could sense that the soul energy within that bracelet was incredibly condensed. That was something only possible if a Xi'anchen soul cultivator had poured their soul energy into it. Menki was unable to do anything to it. After breaking past Menki's blockade, he directly charged at Long Chen. He was incredibly fast, and before people could react, he was already past them. Should I catch him? Wild, whose hands had long since begun feeling itchy, raised his club. Don't. Menki hastily stopped him. Long Chen already said that you're our secret weapon and can't be revealed too easily. When a critical time comes, you can give our enemies a fatal blow. Furthermore, Long Chen also told you that when he needs you to attack, he will tell you. As long as he hasn't said anything, it means he still has enough power to handle everything. Just wait here patiently. Otherwise, Long Chen will get angry. Oh, okay. But I feel like if this continues, I might get hungry soon said Wild with a bit of distress. You can sit here. I'll use my wood spiritual energy to help you absorb a bit of energy. That way you won't exhaust yourself too fast. After saying that, Chu Yao summoned a wooden chair for Wild to sit on. They had no other method. The rate at which Wild grew hungry made everyone feel helpless. In order to keep Wild in his peak state, they could only do it this way. If you feel hungry, take out a few pieces of meat to eat from your spatial ring. Chu Yao formed hand seals in front of her, all while focusing on the entire battlefield. Long Chen didn't want her personally joining the battle. He just needed her to help heal everyone as soon as they suffered any injuries. Whenever someone was injured, a root would grow out of the ground beside them and pour a powerful life energy into their body. As long as it wasn't an instant death, practically all injuries were immediately healed. Furthermore, Chu Yao's range was extremely large. She could even grow out her wooden stakes a dozen miles from her. Whenever anyone ran into danger, wooden stakes would grow out of the ground around them to save them. After absorbing the tree heart, her wood energy had become even more powerful. Wherever there was ground, she could bring out her full abilities. Furthermore, her wooden stakes could be small or big, capable of helping in all kinds of situations. Their strongest point was their hardness. A single wooden stake was something a Chosen would require a full strength attack to destroy. With just a wave of her hands, Chu Yao could summon thousands of wooden stakes. Although their attacking strength wasn't very high, in terms of defense, Chu Yao was number one. With Chu Yao's assistance, their entire group had a powerful insurance, and they could focus on attacking with all their might. At the spot where the peak experts were fighting, there was Mo Nian and Shen Wenlong who were entangled with others. There was also Guo Ran in his armor. He carried two sabers in his hands, leading Gu Yang and the others on a rampage. As for the Huai insect disciples that Shen Wenlong had brought, they were surprisingly powerful. The weapons in their hands had all been made from the best materials. Basically, each one of them had a soft armor protecting them. Taking a person's attack, they would just get a light cut, while they could directly kill the attacker. The thing that made the righteous disciples the most furious was that the Huaian disciples had protections all over them. 
Even their pants had a powerful defensive strength. Blades were almost unable to cause them any injuries. When a certain Huaian disciple Shu broke apart from an attack, people saw that even their socks were made of golden thread. That angered the righteous disciples so much that their eyes turned green. That golden thread was from gold silkworms and was incredibly expensive. Normally, they were all used for soft armors. They were practically priceless treasures. In other words, even the Huaian disciples' socks were priceless treasures. That almost angered them to death. These fellows really had too much money. The Huaian disciples fought at the front, while the Mogate disciples continuously rained down arrows from further back. Each of their arrows easily pierced through armor and flesh. In fact, several people would fall with each arrow. Their strength was just too great, and each arrow could pierce through multiple bodies before stopping. Such archery arts were truly intimidating. At the core of their group were the five women and wild. The women were their core power, and they wouldn't easily attack. A trump card was something only revealed at a critical moment. You had to cut down your opponent in a single blow. You could not give your opponents time to figure out a way to counter your trump cards. Seeing Mo Nian, Zhen Wenlong, and all the others fighting so fiercely, Hua Biluo was filled with pain. Originally, these were the allies she should have been fighting shoulder to shoulder with. But now, she had essentially abandoned her promise. This fucking Hua Wufang and his fucking pill tower. This is fucking stupid. One of the experts behind Hua Biluo couldn't help cursing. They were also manly men, and which of them didn't have any arrogance? But they were humiliated by Hua Wufang, and they could only watch as Mo Nian and the others fought so valiantly. They were filled with fury. After that person cursed, another expert stealthily poked him, glancing furtively at Hua Biluo. When he saw Hua Biluo's frosty face, he immediately shut up. None of these people felt good about this. But the one who felt the worst was naturally Hua Biluo. It was just that she didn't complain about her suffering. That mustached man with the broadsword has reached Long Chen. Someone let out a cry that drew Hua Biluo's attention. Long Chen's divine ring was constantly absorbing spiritual ki. Not only was he exhausting Han Shian Ayu's essence blood energy, but his own spiritual ki was gradually recovering. At this point, he had already recovered to 80%. As for Han Shian Ayu, his face was paper white, and his forehead was covered with sweat. Panic had finally appeared in his eyes. If this continued, he would definitely die. Although he was facing off against Long Chen, he was also aware of what was happening around them. Seeing that everyone was unable to approach, he became even more anxious. Each drop of essence blood he used was diminishing his core strength. If this continued, it would gravely harm his foundation, and he would very likely have to fall from the ranks of heavenly geniuses. A large, mustached man arrived in front of the two of them. He icily looked at Long Chen. Where did you learn the first form of split the heavens? Long Chen had been on guard against this man as soon as he had sensed him approaching. He was ready to receive an attack from him. But hearing him ask this, he came to a sudden comprehension. No wonder he had felt a familiar aura from this person. This person's body had the same domineering will as split the heavens. However, Long Chen was startled by what he said. The first form of split the heavens? In other words, there was a second form and even a third form? He replied, this is something I bought at a market in the secular world. Long Chen didn't say that he had found it in the Imperial College. After all, he had no idea whether this person was friend or foe. Nonsense. You're lying. This mustached man clearly did not believe him. Long Chen's eyes narrowed, and he icily said, I, Long Chen, disdain lying. It's up to you whether or not you want to believe me. The mustached man stared closely at Long Chen, trying to decide whether he was saying the truth or not. After a moment, he said, The split the heavens battle skill is a secret technique that cannot be transmitted outside my heaven splitting divine sect I must take it back. What do you say to that? Maintaining the power of the dragon scale. Long Chen looked at this mustached man. His tone was very irritating, and he possessed a lofty air that seemed to look down on everyone. However, Long Chen was a bit intimidated by this man. Although it hadn't reached the point that he feared him, he did feel that fighting with him now wasn't a good idea. Supporting the dragon scale with one hand, a worn down beast hide appeared in the other. That was what had taught him split the heavens in the first place. Although he hadn't probed who exactly this person was, he could sense the aura of split the heavens from his body. He could not be mistaken about that. Here, Long Chen threw the beast hide to him. In any case, he no longer needed the beast hide anymore. Grabbing the beast hide, he carefully examined it for a moment before a bit of disappointment appeared on his face. 
Using his spiritual key, the mustached man caused the beast hide to explode. He icily looked at Long Chen and said, You misunderstand. When I said take it back, I wasn't just talking about how you learned it. I need to take it back from your body as well. What do you mean? Long Chen's expression sunk, and fury began to soar within him. My meaning is that I have to kill you. The mustached man slowly took out the broadsword on his back. Chapter 452 Split the Heavens vs. Split the Heavens Translator Born to be my meaning is that I have to kill you. The mustached man slowly took out the broadsword on his back. Ha 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 ha. Long Chen couldn't help raising his head up to the sky and laughing crazily. His laugh was filled with fury and killing intent. This was his first time being toyed with by someone like this. By handing over the beast hide, he had already taken a step back. He hadn't expected his return to be this humiliation. In his life, Long Chen had only taken a step back twice. The first time was with Huo Wufang. He had offered to split the Nidan, but had met with refusal. Now, he had been feeling the pressure, and in order to keep the peace, he had handed over the beast hide. But this time, he met with humiliation. This made Long Chen realize that he was becoming more and more cowardly, and more and more laughable. Had he really been trying to create peace with these arrogant fools? HMPH. What's so funny? The Split the Heavens battle skill is my heaven splitting divine sect's top treasure, and it cannot be allowed to circulate outside. You've secretly learned my sect's divine ability. It doesn't matter where you obtained the secret tome. It was definitely stolen from my heaven splitting divine sect. I'm only telling you all this so you can understand before you die. My heaven splitting divine sect isn't unreasonable, so you can die at peace, said the mustached man icily. Don't give me your pompous jokes. Your eyes are constantly looking at my spatial ring and scale. Did you think your true intentions could be concealed from me? You want to kill someone for their treasures, but you actually managed to find this many reasons? I really look favorably upon you. You really must be top grade amongst idiots. If you want my treasures, then come. But let me tell you, if you do, don't regret it. Long Chen's killing intent was not the slightest bit concealed. He had truly been infuriated by this strange man. He sensed this fellow's greed. Previously, he truly had come for split the heavens. But after he had tossed over the beast hide, that disappointment on his face also wasn't fake. It was only after he had destroyed the beast hide that his intentions had changed. And he began to feel greed for Long Chen's treasures. HMPH. Even at death's door, you still have to slander others. As expected, you really aren't some good person. You can die now. The mustached man's sword shook. This broadsword was five feet long and five inches wide. It was incredibly heavy. The wind whistled as it slashed at Long Chen with a berserk energy. Even before the sword arrived, the wind blew back Long Chen's robes. Long Chen's heart shook. As he had thought, this mustached man was not at all inferior to Han Shian Ayu. This sword was one that focused completely on brute power, and of the people present, only a few could receive it. As for Han Shian Ayu, he was delighted to see this person release a powerful killing blow right at the beginning. If someone hadn't come to help him at this point, then he really would have been doomed. Long Chen would have exhausted him straight to death. In the face of that broadsword slashing down on him, a ruthless light shone in Long Chen's eyes. His left hand continued controlling the dragon scale, while the saber in his right hand went to block the broadsword. Seeing that Long Chen dared split his attention even when facing his sword, the mustached man grew angry. Was he looking down on him? Fuck off. Bang. The ground beneath Long Chen exploded when the broadsword smashed onto his blood-colored saber. Long Chen vomited a mouthful of blood. However, ridicule could be seen in his eyes. The mustached man's expression changed. He had sensed something odd. When his sword had met with Long Chen's saber, most of his power had ended up being brushed aside. Long Chen had at most received 30% of his attack. The other 70% had mysteriously disappeared. Aya. I've been duped. The mustached man suddenly realized what had happened. On the other side, an explosion rang out. Boom. The dragon scale in the air suddenly blossomed with light, and it smashed straight into the crystal bone. That terrifying Xi'anshan crystal bone surprisingly exploded at the first contact, and a terrifying energy erupted, sending Long Chen, Han Shian Ayu, and the mustached man flying. Nu. Han Shian Ayu vomited three mouthfuls of blood. One reason was that he was too close, but the other reason was his pain at losing such a treasure. He had spent an incredible amount of time and effort to refine this crystal bone. This crystal bone had been his hope of soaring high above others. He had been filled with dreams. But now, his dreams had been destroyed by Long Chen. 
Han Shian Iu felt a pain similar to having his insides torn apart. His hatred of Long Chen had already reached a peak. In truth, in order to destroy Han Shian Iu's crystal bone, Long Chen also didn't have it very well off. Although he felt refreshed inside, his body was suffering greatly. Originally, his plan had been to exhaust Han Shian Iu all the way to the end. By that time, his spiritual key would already be mostly recovered. In order to instantly destroy the crystal bone would require a consumption similar to using split the heavens again. So Long Chen had always been unwilling to do so. However, the mustached man's attack had allowed him to take this risk. Using the saber arts he had learned in the Zhuanshan Monastery, he had shifted 70% of the power in his attack, and then adding on his own power, he had sent a combined attack towards the crystal bone. However, controlling an enemy's attack power was not something he had ever done before. Although he had learned the theory of it, the mustached man was too powerful, causing Long Chen to also suffer injury. However, the result made it all worth it. Long Chen, I'll tear you to pieces. Han Shian I roared and suddenly swallowed a giant pill. His exhausted aura suddenly recovered to over 90%. Instant key recovery pill. Long Chen was shocked. If it had just been an ordinary instant key recovery pill, then it would have been fine. However, Han Shian Iu had swallowed a giant pill. Giant pills contain dozens of times the energy of ordinary pills. This bastard was truly rich. Die. Han Shian Iu roared. A new sword appearing in his hand. His old sword had already broken, but looking at this sword's quality, it seemed it wasn't much lacking at all compared to his old one. If a hypocrite like you is still alive, why would I die? Long Chen snorted, and Bloodrinker released a bloody light that filled the sky. He slashed it at Han Shian Iu. Bang. Han Shian Iu shook intensely and was sent flying. Only now did Han Shian Iu realize his own strength had decreased by over 20%. Previously. He had still been able to fight evenly with Long Chen, but now he had lost in just one exchange. He had lost too much essence blood, causing his physical strength to sharply decline. Although his spiritual key might have recovered to 90%, it was impossible for him to reach his peak combat state again. It could be said he had completely lost to Long Chen now. Although he could say Long Chen had borrowed someone else's strength in the end, he still would have been exhausted to death. In the end, even if it weren't for the mustached man's attack, Long Chen had only just forced back Han Shian Iu when a whistling wind came from behind him. Without looking back, Long Chen swung out Bloodrinker, blocking a broadsword. Turning to look at the shocked mustached man, he sneered. Wow, who would have thought I'd still have so much energy left now? Boom. Bloodrinker shook, forcing back the mustached man. Han Shian Iu's sword was already stabbing towards his back. With another wave of his saber, Long Chen forced back Han Shian Iu. Han Shian Iu was completely furious. Having used so much essence blood, he was now losing out in strength. Even if you still have so much power left, you still won't be able to escape your death. Battle God Slaughter. Light surged out of the mustached man, making him as blinding as the sun. His sword suddenly pointed up to the sky, and a berserk aura locked down Long Chen. Long Chen's heart shook as this technique was far too familiar. This was the start of Split the Heavens. His expression was extremely grave. He also pointed his saber up to the sky. Both their movements were now the exact same. Two terrifying auras climbed higher and higher, causing the sky to tremble. Split the heavens. Boom. A sword image and a saber image crashed fiercely together, releasing an immense explosion that rocked the entire battlefield. Long Chen and the mustached man were both blown back. This was a world-shaking collision. It was the exact same technique. The exact same movements. This terrifying power possessed a destructive power that shocked everyone. No one had expected that facing such a strong opponent, Long Chen would use the exact same move, ending up in a tie. Die. Long Chen suddenly shouted, and extending a hand, a green light shot towards the mustached man. That was the dragon scale. The dragon scale was connected with Long Chen's mind. After destroying the crystal bone, Long Chen had brought it flying back to him. After that head-on exchange, Long Chen had immediately sent the dragon scale to go kill him. The mustached man's combat ability was too powerful. He wouldn't even be that much lacking compared to Han Shian Iu. So fighting like this would exhaust Long Chen too much. If it was a one-on-one, -on -one, Long Chen wouldn't have any fear. But this was not just his battlefield. He still had that many brothers risking their lives fighting. He wanted to quickly end the battle to avoid deaths. The dragon scale tore through the void like a streak of light. It contained endless killing intent as it slashed towards the mustached man. His expression completely changed, 
and he hastily crushed a talisman. Buzz. Rune surged out of the talisman, forming an immense shield in front of him. It was like a steel wall, emitting an extremely sturdy air. Boom. The dragon scale crashed into the runic shield, and the shield instantly exploded. As for the mustached man, he violently coughed up blood and flew back. The shield had managed to block the dragon scale's attack. However, it hadn't managed to block all of its energy, and a portion of it struck him. Long Chen's expression was slightly pale now. Inside, he sighed that it was a pity. The dragon scale was far stronger than he had imagined. But unfortunately, his own power was not enough to use its full potential. After using it twice to attack, the green light on the dragon scale had become slightly dimmer. It needed to rest. Not only did those attacks exhaust a great deal of Long Chen's energy, but they also exhausted a portion of the dragon scale's energy. It couldn't continue attacking, and Long Chen had no choice but to quickly return it to his body. After using Split the Heavens and the Dragon Scale, Long Chen had less than 30% of his spiritual key remaining. But clenching his teeth, he raised Bloodrinker and once more charged at the horrified mustached man. Chapter 453 Fierce Tigers Translator Born to be after using Split the Heavens and the Dragon Scale, Long Chen had less than 30% of his spiritual key remaining. Those two attacks were just too exhausting. However, there was no turning back. Long Chen would no longer childishly think of trying to maintain peace with these people. To handle such people, the only solution was to kill. To kill so many that they finally became afraid. Clenching his teeth, Bloodrinker once more lit up, and his terrifying gaze seemed to be one of a furious devil as he charged at the horrified mustached man. The mustached man could not understand how it was that Long Chen could use Split the Heavens without the core technique of the heaven-splitting divine sect according to reason. Without that core technique, the body would not be able to accept that terrifying energy and would explode. No matter how strong the physical body was, without the core technique, there was no way to use Split the Heavens full power. Previously, the mustached man hadn't had such a feeling when Long Chen had used it against Han Shianayu. But now when he faced Long Chen directly, he was horrified to find that when Long Chen used Split the Heavens, his technique was even more exquisite and powerful than the actual disciples of the heaven-splitting divine sect if it hadn't been for one of his seniors in his sect giving him a protective talisman. He would have already been killed by Long Chen's dragon scale. It could be said that just now, he had brushed right past the death god's shoulder. The grim reaper's sickle had been pressed right up against his throat. He was filled with terror. However, the one thing that comforted him was that he noticed the strange scale Long Chen had taken out also seemed to have run out of energy. He shouldn't be able to use it again for a short time. Now seeing Long Chen charging at him, the mustached man roared, and light exploded from his body. Raising his broadsword, he brought it slashing at Long Chen. Their two weapons collided, causing an immense explosion. What amazed everyone was that even after fighting for so long, and even after releasing so many ultimate attacks, Long Chen was still as valiant as ever. The mustached man was blown back dozens of meters by Long Chen's saber. Long Chen was incredibly imposing now. His divine ring caused the sky to tremble, while his saber was like a bloody river. He once more attacked the mustached man. One had been fighting for a long time already, while one had been completely fresh. And yet, it was Long Chen who was suppressing his opponent, each of his attacks containing a chilling killing intent. Just what kind of monster is Long Chen? Those disciples that hadn't listened to Hua Wufang and that were just spectating were all incomparably shocked. Long Chen's fierce fight with Han Shianayu could already be described as a world-shocking battle. In the end, Han Shianayu had fallen into an absolute disadvantage. Even a blind person would have been able to see that, so Long Chen had already defeated him. As for this mustached man, he was clearly not much inferior to Han Shianayu, but he was still suppressed by Long Chen. It was as if Long Chen had an ocean's worth of energy. What's going on? They're clearly all experts of the righteous path. So why do they have to fight to the point of you die or I die? I really don't get it. Some people couldn't help lamenting. The corrupt path's experts were clearly right there. Those were the true enemies. So why did they need to slaughter each other? If they focused completely on fighting the corrupt disciples, then even if they couldn't completely annihilate them, they could still slaughter the majority of them. The corrupt path had suppressed the righteous path for many years now. Now that the righteous path finally had the power to suppress their opponents, they had decided to fight amongst themselves. That really made them have an urge to cry. Frankly speaking, this is all because Long Chen fails to appreciate kindness and vainly wants to snatch the top spot of the righteous path from Han Shianayu. 
He's just a contemptible little man who wants to fight for fame and profit. Those things are clearly more important to him than anything else. One of the core disciples from the monasteries Isili spoke out. He was one of Han Shian Iu's devout followers. Pow. Bang. Ah. His words had only just fallen when he was viciously slapped by multiple people. Fuck your god MN mom. You must really think we're all blind and can't tell this was all intentionally set up by the first monastery. Fuck. 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 Fucking damn suck up idiot. This was all because you idiots all get bored as soon as you're full. Filling the righteous path with turmoil. A large man furiously kicked that disciple with each curse. This lackey was just an ordinary core disciple, and being surrounded and kicked by a dozen people, he fainted in just a breath's time. Such an idiot really should be kicked to death. It's too bad we're not strong enough to help Long Chen. There was someone who couldn't help but sigh emotionally when he looked at the battlefield. The people who were still only watching were mostly from smaller sects. Their cultivation bases were weaker, and they were mostly just core disciples. With their cultivation bases, if they went onto this battlefield, a battlefield in which even chosen were trampled to death, then they would definitely be the cannon fodder of the cannon fodder. An aftershock from a battle would kill a dozen of them. As expected, it really is a case of similar people flocking together. Not one of those who stand by Long Chen are cowards. Each of them are like fierce tigers. Just watching makes my blood hot, said one person, clenching his fists. There had been tens of thousands of righteous disciples that had charged over to where Menki and the others were. They had tried getting past them multiple times, but the only result was that the mountains of corpses only grew higher, and they were unable to get past. At the front were Mo Nian and Zhen Wenlong facing the peak experts. Zhen Wenlong was fighting one against seven, finally using his full strength. They finally understood just how terrifying he was and why he didn't even place Han Shian Iu in his eyes. He truly did have that power. As for Mo Nian, other than the three experts from the King Prefecture, there were also several other experts that had joined hands to attack him, hoping to suppress this long-range killer. However, they had still underestimated him. The bow in his hand could also be used as a weapon, and when the runes on it were activated, its power could smash apart mountains. He was actually so powerful that even with so many of them, they were still panicking slightly. Most terrifying of all, in the midst of Mo Nian's fight, he would occasionally, silently, shoot out an arrow. One of the peak experts attacking him had been carelessly distracted for a moment, and his head had been pierced by Mo Nian's arrow. That was the first peak expert to have fallen in this battle. Mo Nian and Zhen Wenlong were fighting basically all the peak experts. Behind the two of them was Guo Ran. In the last few months, Long Chen had once more refined some special body strengthening pills for him, and his strength had advanced by a great deal. Guo Ran was guarding the front of his squad. He held two sabers in his hands, both of which seemed like the fangs of a bloodthirsty magical beast. He crazily attacked his opponents, and beneath his feet was a river of blood and a pile of corpses. On the other side was Yu Zifeng. His sword continuously flashed through the air and sword key soared towards the sky. Surprisingly, he was fighting intensely with Yun Wushuang. Yu Zifeng's eyes were completely red, and each of his moves was all out attack. He wished to cut this damnable woman into a million pieces. According to reason, Yin Wushuang could also count as a top expert, and her combat strength should have surpassed Yu Zifeng. However, due to her heart devil, her combat strength had fallen greatly, and she was actually only able to fight evenly with Yu Zifeng. Gu Yang, Song Mingguan, Li Qi, and Luo Kang were guarding behind Guo Ran, killing anyone that got past him. They refused to allow anyone to the center of their squad. In the beginning, there were several waves of people who had vainly tried to detour around them only to be killed. But afterwards, Huo Wufang had ordered them to ignore Long Chen and focus completely on killing his friends. His hope was for Long Chen to split his attention to come to save them. Huo Wufang was well aware that Long Chen would not just allow his women to die here, especially not a powerful soul cultivator like Men Qi. And so his best option would be to focus completely on murdering Long Chen's group. Watching that intense fight, Huo Wufang was filled with ridicule and disdain. To him, the more that died, the better. That way he would owe less favors. He had long since seen that other than Mo Nian and Zhen Wenlong, everyone else in Long Chen's group was also extremely powerful. The reason he had scared Hua Biluo into leaving was not just to decrease their overall strength. His other goal was to shake their confidence. Unfortunately, he hadn't managed to achieve that goal. Later, he was also surprised to see the mustached man attack. However, once they both used split the heavens, he understood something. 
Currently, Long Chen was fighting on his own against the mustached man and Han Shian Iu. However, he still possessed the advantage. That shocked everyone. His blood-colored saber repeatedly clashed with their weapons, causing powerful blasts that made it so even space was on the verge of collapsing. Long Chen was fighting as hard as he could. He had to kill the two of them before his spiritual key was exhausted. Only then could he intimidate everyone else. Once Han Shian Iu and the mustached man died, this battle would be over. However, the precondition of that was that he displayed enough of his power that he awed everyone. Hua Wufang was extremely sinister. He had everyone attack while he just watched from the side. This was the first time Long Chen began to intensely despise the Pill Valley. Although the Pill Tower was not Pill Valley, they were still their spokesperson. And yet, this spokesperson abused their power for selfish reasons and was shameless to the peak. Furthermore, there were so many idiots who listened to him, vainly trying to create a good relationship with Pill Valley. But there was also no way around that. Pill Valley was something that was related to the entire rise and fall of the cultivation world. No one dared offend them. And so the Pill Tower had become a supreme existence. With a single word from Hua Wufang, countless people would sell their souls. The current situation was in a very precarious balance. The corrupt path was watching like hawks. At this point, although many of the righteous disciples had died, their peak fighters were still alive. So the righteous path's overall strength had not declined much. If Long Chen was able to kill Han Shian Iu and the mustached man quickly, ending this battle before more experts fell, then even the corrupt path wouldn't dare charge in brashly. But if too many peak experts died, then the righteous path's power would sharply decline. At that time, even if Long Chen killed Han Shian Iu, it wouldn't be enough to intimidate Yun Luo. At that time, Yun Luo would take advantage of their power being weaker to launch a fatal blow. Unfortunately, Han Shian Iu and the mustached man were both peak experts that were incredibly strong with plenty of battle experience. Although it was clear that the two had lost already, it was impossible for Long Chen to kill them in a short time. He was starting to feel uneasy, as if something bad was about to happen. Just at that moment, a voice which Long Chen loathed to the extreme rang out once more. Yin Luo, led your corrupt path's experts to kill Long Chen and his friends, and I, Hua Wufang, will owe you a favor. Chapter 454 Have free reign to kill translator, born to be Yun Luo, led your corrupt path's experts to kill Long Chen and his friends, and I, Hua Wufang, will owe you a favor. Hua Wufang's voice reverberated throughout the battlefield. Those righteous disciples that weren't fighting yet were completely filled with fury. To order corrupt disciples to kill righteous disciples was a serious interference with the upcoming righteous and corrupt battle. That was a grave violation of the Pill Tower's neutral position. Hua Wufang, you contemptible man, you will be condemned by the entire righteous path. One of them finally couldn't endure it and cursed straight at him. Die. A cold snort rang out. Hua Wufang waved his hand, and a flame arrow shot out like a bolt of lightning, instantly crossing the distance between them. That person was just an ordinary core disciple, and being struck by this arrow, he was instantly burned to ashes. HMPH, you don't have the qualifications to criticize me. If anyone dares talk nonsense again, you can go die for me as well. Since Brother Huo is inviting me, then I naturally wouldn't fail to appreciate your kindness. Yin Luo laughed loudly, turning to the corrupt disciples. He shouted, Brothers, this time we'll help Brother Huo. We'll only kill people from Long Chen's group. You are not permitted to kill the other righteous disciples. Yes, the corrupt disciples all let out a loud confirmation. The call of tens of thousands of corrupt disciples shook the nine heavens and could be clearly heard for hundreds of miles. Mo Nian and the others' hearts sunk immediately. No one had expected Hua Wufang to commit such a grave sin to kill Long Chen. They had really underestimated how contemptible he was. Hua Wufang, you are courting death. You aren't afraid of the Pill Tower's punishment. You aren't afraid of being attacked by the entire righteous path. Zhen Wenlong furiously roared while fighting. Ha ha ha. I don't need a peddler like you to advise me about my matters. You should think more about how you want to die in a bit. Laughed Hua Wufang. Kill. Yin Luo roared. He had already charged up to the front. And the other corrupt disciples all charged their way directly to the battlefield. In the beginning, the fighting righteous disciples had been a bit worried. However, when the corrupt disciples passed by them, they didn't attack them. Allowing them to relax. Hua Wufang was also no longer just watching. He and Yun Luo both charged at Long Chen. The two of them both had protective soul items, and they directly passed through Menki's blockade. At this moment, 
Long Chen was completely suppressing Han Xian Iyu and the mustached man. The two of them were both drenched with sweat as they bitterly endured. Long Chen was too terrifying, and they were both afraid of him now. The most terrifying thing about him was his killing intent. Even the two of them were unable to disregard it. It was as if there was a sharp blade constantly pressed against their throats. One that might behead them at any moment. That filled them with dread and was a huge mental pressure. Long Chen. I've already said that I'd make you regret it. And when I say something, I do it. Do you have anything left to say? Hua Wufang didn't immediately attack when he arrived. Instead, he just sneered at Long Chen. Boom. Long Chen forced back the other two and then turned to look at Hua Wufang. I don't know whether or not I will regret it in the future. But what I do know is that you definitely will. Han Xian Iyu and the mustached man crawled up from the ground. Both of them were covered in dust, appearing extremely wretched. However, now that reinforcements had come, they finally relaxed. If they had continued fighting, they would have truly been killed in the end. Such a thing was unprecedented for both Han Xian Iyu and the mustached man. It was a complete humiliation for them. Regret? He. I. Hua Wufang. Never regret anything. If you think I'll be receiving any punishment for this, you're wrong. You're a traitor to the righteous path. One with reprehensible crimes. Everyone here can testify that you are a demon who willfully slaughters the innocent. Said Hua Wufang calmly. Correct. I can take the place of the heaven-splitting divine sect to testify that Long Chen is a wretched traitor. Said the mustached man. Originally, he had been planning on snatching Long Chen's scale and his spatial ring. He really hadn't expected to be beaten so miserably. That was extremely humiliating for him. And he had to make sure that Long Chen didn't make it out alive today. I will also testify that Long Chen is the degenerate of the Zhuanshan Supermonastery, a villain of the entire righteous path. Han Xian I was slightly pale, but his eyes were still filled with venom. I will testify that even my corrupt path has never before seen such an evil person. Such a person should be punished with the worst kind of torture before death, sneered Yun Luo. Long Chen's strength had far surpassed his expectations. If the situation hadn't developed to this point, there would have been no chance of killing him. Now, he could kill Long Chen, remove a potential disaster, get revenge, and obtain an immense favor from Hua Wufang. He trusted that by doing this, not only would he not receive any punishment from the corrupt path once he returned, but he might even be rewarded. As for the other righteous disciples, he didn't care the slightest bit about them. Killing Long Chen was the most urgent thing. He absolutely could not be allowed to live and mature. Han Xian Iyu might be strong, but Yun Luo was confident he wouldn't lose against him. However, Long Chen was different. He was only a tendon transformation, but he was able to dominate the bone forging realm. If they let him grow up, he would definitely be heaven defying. That was something the corrupt path refused to allow. Do you see? Even the corrupt path feels that you are a despicable fiend. Long Chen. What do you think would happen if I killed a person as immoral as you? Do you think people would say anything? Ha ha ha. Even if people know you were wrongly accused. So what? You'll already be dead. No one would offend my pill tower for a dead person. So no matter how mad you are about it, you'll still be dead. As for me, even after having you killed, I'll be happily cultivating. That's what power means. You can complain that I was just born lucky, but reincarnating is also a skill. Not everyone has that kind of luck. So luck is also a kind of power. For a beast flame, you offended me, Hua Wufang, and have fallen to this point. Are you satisfied now? Now not only will you die, but everyone by your side will die with you. But don't worry, I won't let you die first. I'll let you see your friends dying in front of you one by one. That can be my grace to you. Hua Wufang laughed heartily, his laugh filled with a delight in getting revenge. By this time, the corrupt experts had already arrived at Guo Ran and the others. Due to the immense numbers, even the ground was rumbling intensely. Grand flowers bloom. Suddenly, flower petals began to flutter in the air, and a beautiful figure appeared in front of Guo Ran. Those countless and diverse flower petals filled a one mile radius, and those charging corrupt experts were instantly enveloped. Ahhh. Miserable screams rang out as those petals cut apart their bodies. In an instant, hundreds of corrupt experts had been killed. The entire crowd became silent. Hua Biluo, you are courting death, raged Hua Wufang. At this time, it was Hua Biluo who had attacked, and there were seven experts by her side who also joined the battle, fighting shoulder to shoulder with Guo Ran and the others. Hua Wufang, look closely. The ones I killed were from the corrupt path and has nothing to do with your pill tower. 
I don't believe you'll dare punish my Hua family just because of this matter. HMPH. If you did, you'd become an enemy of the entire righteous path. Hua Biluo smiled icily. You. Hua Wufang was completely enraged, but he was unable to say anything. The Pill Tower was a neutral party, never sticking their hands into the righteous and corrupt battles. This was a completely different matter from him calling people to kill Long Chen. When Long Chen had arrived here, he had clearly kept his group separate from the righteous path. Establishing himself as a third party, killing him could be said to have nothing to do with the righteous and corrupt battle. Even when he called corrupt disciples to kill Long Chen and his friends, he could still argue that Long Chen was not a part of the righteous path. But this was different. Hua Biluo was only killing corrupt experts. In other words, she was standing on the side of the righteous path. If Hua Wufang really did get revenge on Hua Biluo for this matter, he really would offend countless people. Hua Wufang clenched his teeth furiously, killing intent surging out of him. However, he was unable to do anything. It's just a single expert. It won't change anything. Why must you get angry brother Huo smiled Yun Luo. After comforting Huo Wufang, he turned to Long Chen. Long Chen, you currently have less than 20% of your spiritual key, and your strength should have declined to around 50%. Right now, you are an arrow at the end of its flight. Against the four of us, you have no chance. I'm very curious. Just what are you thinking right now? It really is a case of if you fear something, it will happen. Was this all the will of the heavens? Long Chen couldn't help sighing, resting his saber on his shoulder. He had already done his best, but luck made fools of men. No matter how he had tried, the situation had constantly progressed to the worst case scenario. There had been no way to stop it. This current situation was the one Long Chen had been worried about the most. And thus his words, if you fear something, it will come. It really is the will of the heavens. Today, it is fated that your bones will be buried within the Jiuli secret realm. Ah, sorry, I misspoke. You won't have any bones to bury because I will make sure you die without a corpse. Yin Luo icily stared at Long Chen like a cheetah staring at its prey. His combat strength was only half of his peak state, and his spiritual key was almost exhausted, meaning he couldn't use any more ultimate moves. In other words, Long Chen was like a toothless tiger. There was no longer any threat. Long Chen smiled slightly, a touch of ridicule appearing on his face, saying that right now is still a bit too early. Suddenly, he loudly roared, Everyone, there's no need to hold back anymore. Have free reign to kill. Everyone in front of you is an enemy, so kill them all. What? Hua Wufang and the others' expressions changed, and they hastily turned back, only to see four huge. Violet birds appear in the sky Novaloon.com chapter 455 smash you to death with a single club translator. Born to be what? Four huge violet birds appeared in the air, each of them almost 300 meters long. Those were the violet phoenix sparrows that had reached the peak of the fourth rank. As soon as they appeared, they opened their mouths and spat out a scorching flame that instantly covered an area of hundreds of meters. A-H-H. Miserable screams rang out as hundreds of corrupt experts were burnt to ashes. Even Chosen were unable to bear it. Soul Deep Dream. Adopt one of the Violet Phoenix Sparrows. Menki solemnly formed hand seals, and a ripple of spiritual strength surged out. Within miles of her, countless experts stiffened and then slowly closed their eyes. They seemed to be sleeping as they lay on the ground, but all their life force had already disappeared. Menki was slightly pale. One reason was because of the immense exhaustion to her soul energy, while the other reason was because of all this killing. Thousands of people had died to her just now, to kill that many people in one go. Menki felt extremely unwell. These were not magical beasts, but humans just like her. Sister, don't feel bad. These are all bad people. If we didn't kill them, they would kill us. Lu Fang'er shouted from another violet phoenix sparrow. Lu Fang'er did not possess Menki's vast soul energy, and so she could only shoot out spiritual arrows at the people below. Although her radius was smaller. Her power was also shocking. Anyone who didn't have a protective soul item would instantly be killed. However, those who died to their spiritual attacks were actually lucky compared to the others. At least they managed to die with a complete corpse, looking as if they were just asleep. Of course, those people down there didn't think so. For the people by their side to just silently die like that was the most terrifying thing. Some of the righteous disciples were no longer able to suppress that fear, and they began to withdraw. But as for the corrupt disciples, they were still charging forward. Move aside. I'll handle these broods. Suddenly, a man charged out from the corrupt side. His key and blood surged, 
and there was an illusory sea of blood behind him. A terrifying murderous aura caused others to shiver. Be careful, it's Zhu Wuya, Zhen Wenlong warned everyone. However, at this time, he was surrounded by over ten experts of the righteous and corrupt paths. Those experts were all on the level of peak experts, and Zhen Wenlong already had two cuts that were bleeding. In order to send this warning, he ended up distracted, and one of the corrupt experts landed a steel hook on his shoulder, opening a huge cut. Blood instantly dyed half his robe scarlet. Senior apprentice brothers Zhang, Beiling cried out from the distance. I'm fine, keep fighting. Zhen Wenlong didn't dare be careless again. After shouting, he focused completely on fighting. There were simply too many enemies. Zhen Wenlong was completely suppressed. There was no way he could help anyone else right now. Everyone would have to rely on themselves. Mo Nian was the same. He was completely surrounded by the peak experts of the righteous and corrupt paths. He wasn't too suited to close range combat. And so being surrounded like this, he wasn't even able to bring out his full abilities. Infuriating him so much that he repeatedly cursed as he fought. Zhu Wuya's arrival caused all the righteous experts to tremble in fear. He was publicly acknowledged as the number one expert of the corrupt path besides Yun Luo. They all made way for him. You are Zhu Wuya. Suddenly, a large figure appeared in front of Zhu Wuya, blocking his path. That person was like a giant, his expression making him appear simple and naive. I am. You Zhu Wuya had only just begun when Wild's huge spiked club cut him off. Zhu Wuya hadn't expected this seemingly simple giant to dare fight him just like this. By the time he reacted, the huge club was already about to reach his head. There was no pressure and no aura. It was an ordinary smash of the club. However, the air around it seemed to almost explode. Zhu Wuya hastily raised his spear to block it. Boom. Zhu Wuya was blown back, and those corrupt disciples behind him that he collided with all had their bodies explode. He continued flying back for almost 300 meters. A dozen corrupt experts had died from being struck by him, and one of them had even been a chosen. After stabilizing, he immediately vomited a mouthful of blood. Wild's attack had come too suddenly, and he hadn't had any defense up. That attack had almost caused his inner organs to collapse. Most terrifying of all, when Wild attacked, there weren't any indications of him preparing his spiritual key. He struck without any warning, making it so people were unable to defend properly. This one attack had caused Zhu Wuya to suffer greatly. Good job Wild. Hurry and smash that bastard. Guo Ran was constantly paying attention to the entire battlefield while fighting. That was the mission Long Chen had given him. In terms of combat strength, he might not count as the strongest. But when it came to destructive power, he wouldn't be lacking compared to any of the others. However, his greatest strong point was his defense. His entire body was covered in armor. And when other people's weapons landed on him, it was pretty much just an itch for him. The only ones that could threaten him were those with heavy weapons. As long as he wasn't smashed by one of those heavy weapons, he was practically invincible. That was why Long Chen had given him the task of directing everyone. Only he was capable of keeping watch over the entire battlefield as he fought. As soon as Zhu Wuya had appeared, Guo Ran had told Wild to go attack him. In the beginning, Guo Ran had been a bit worried for Wild's safety. But Long Chen had told him a certain thing that made him feel better. Long Chen had said that Wild's true combat strength was not the slightest bit lacking to his own. In fact, perhaps it surpassed his. So, Long Chen had always kept Wild as a secret weapon. And as expected, as soon as Wild appeared on the battlefield, he shocked everyone. It had to be known that Zhu Wuya was someone on the same level as Yun Luo. Even if he wasn't exactly as strong as he was, he wouldn't be much weaker. But shockingly, a single attack from Wild had made him vomit blood. Long Chen's group had actually hidden such a terrifying existence. Zhu Wuya was shocked and infuriated. With a roar, he pushed himself to his peak state, and he charged at Wild. His spear was like a poisonous snake stabbing towards Wild's throat. His spear's speed was shockingly fast, and it came from an extremely tricky angle. However, Wild didn't even look at his attack. The main thing was that he couldn't possibly grasp the skill needed to block this attack. Long Chen had already taught him not to go block other people's attacks, as he wouldn't be able to. What Long Chen had told him to do was to not be half-assed. Either don't attack, or attack to kill your opponent with a single smash of your club. Once they were beaten to death, then your enemy's attack would be perfectly stopped. There was no other way for Wild. Long Chen had taught him many moves, but he was unable to remember any of them. As for trying to get Wild to be able to see through the intricacies behind an enemy's attack. 
that level of difficulty would practically be heaven defying for Wild. So the only thing Long Chen could do was tell Wild to attack without defending. Each time he attacked, he was to aim to kill his opponent. Since he couldn't understand any techniques, the best option was for him to blindly smash his club. Even when Wild had ended up taking Kang Ming as a master, Kang Ming also had had to prostrate himself in admiration towards Wild's incredible memory. From then on, he simply allowed Wild to fight as he pleased. So in the face of Zhu Wuya's spear, Wild didn't dodge, nor did he try to block. He simply ruthlessly smashed his club at him. Wild's club was 5 meters long. That attack range was too large, and Zhu Wuya couldn't dodge it. The only thing he could do was give up his attack and switch to defense. Boom. Zhu Wuya was once more blown back. Due to switching techniques in the end, he had only managed to bring out 80% of his strength. Another line of unlucky fellows died as he flew back. Not everyone's physical bodies could match up to Zhu Wuya. Even two chosen were smashed to death. Now those corrupt experts learned from experience and retreated further. After sending Zhu Wuya flying, Wild Nor roared and charged straight at him. Boom, boom, boom. With each smash of his club, the entire battlefield would shake. Wild was practically a barbaric dragon in human form. This was his first time fighting with his full strength in a long time. And he loudly roared, feeling incredibly delighted. Wild might be delighted, but Zhu Wuya was the opposite. Wild was too strong, and now even his hand was bleeding. Blood devil possession. Zhu Wuya roared, and a human figure made of blood mist formed behind him. The blood mist then merged together with his body, causing his aura to explosively grow. Die. Once more raising his spear to block Wild's club, the tip of his spear began to glow with a green light. It appeared incredibly sharp as it pierced towards Wild's abdomen. However, Wild didn't even look at Zhu Wuya's attack. After his club was blown back, he twisted around and swung it back at Zhu Wuya horizontally. Bang! Zhu Wuya blocked the club with his spear, and his body was once more blown back. He once more vomited a mouthful of blood, but this time it wasn't from an injury, but from being infuriated. No matter what exquisite technique he tried, Wild would just smash his club at him. Zhu Wuya was now fuming. Do you even know how to fight? Zhu Wuya furiously cursed. In all his life, he had never felt so stifled when fighting. But his reply was a huge spiked club. Zhu Wuya was helpless and could only defend against Wild in a battle of brute strength. Seeing that Zhu Wuya had been suppressed, the corrupt experts were all shocked. Two peak experts even came to help. Now that more people came, Wild did change techniques. Now, he was spinning around in a circle, swinging his club continuously, repeatedly rolling around all over the battlefield. And yet, Zhu Wuya and the others did not have a technique to counter this. They were temporarily unable to do anything to him. Wild was now fighting against three peak experts, but the corrupt path still had one more. He was about to charge in when a large wind blade descended from the sky, blocking his advance. Tang Wan'er began a fierce fight against this peak expert. After absorbing so much of the essence energy in the wind spirit stones, Tang Wan'er's combat ability had soared to a terrifying point. She was so strong that the corrupt expert was unable to get past her. Sister Biluo. You and senior apprentice sisters Hikiu should work together. We don't need you to attack. Just help maintain the formation. Guo Ran was keeping watch over the situation. Up in the sky, the Violet Phoenix Sparrows were focusing on defense. So their formation was still stable. All the top experts had been entangled. And so now it would be a prolonged battle. Maintaining their strength was the most important thing. Seeing that Long Chen's group was able to block all these attackers. Huo Wufang's expression turned ugly. He icily turned to Long Chen. Good. Since it's like this, then I'll first kill you and send your head to your companions. Are you prepared? Long Chen quietly murmured. Haha, we should be asking you that. Sneered Hua Wufang. A terrifying flame blade appeared in his hand. As for the mustached man, Yin Luo, and Han Shian Iu, they all raised their weapons towards Long Chen. Long Chen suddenly smiled and lightly said, I wasn't talking to you. I was talking to my friend. Suddenly. A burst of spatial fluctuations appeared, and three huge, emerald leaves appeared on Long Chen's back. One leaf pointed towards the sky, while two of them pointed towards the ground. Hua Wufang and the other's expressions completely changed. Chapter 456 Unrevealed Battle God Translator Born to be three huge, emerald leaves appeared on Long Chen's back. Those leaves were just illusions, and yet they appeared solid. When those leaves appeared, Long Chen's almost exhausted spiritual key began to sharply grow, his aura growing several times stronger than before. 
It's that move again. Yin Luo hastily looked into the distance. He saw there was one violet phoenix sparrow flying high in the air, away from the battlefield. Adopt that violet phoenix sparrow. Chu Yao's eyes were closed, and her hands were clasped before her in an extremely bizarre hand seal. Her four fingers pointed towards the sky. Her thumb touched her ring finger, and her pinky was slightly curved. Chu Yao's aura had completely disappeared at this time. She was like a statue that had lost all her life, and she wasn't moving at all. Hurry and kill that woman, shouted Yun Luo. He finally remembered what this technique was called, Wood Spirit Union. Last time, in the righteous and corrupt battle, Long Chen and Chu Yao had relied on this technique to completely reverse the tides. It allowed Long Chen to use all of Chu Yao's vast spiritual key. As a wood cultivator, Chu Yao had dozens of times the amount of spiritual key of an ordinary cultivator. With her present, Long Chen's spiritual key was almost inexhaustible. You finally remembered? Unfortunately, you're too late. Long Chen sneered, and his aura completely exploded out. With Chu Yao's assistance, he no longer needed to have so many misjivings. Split the heavens, Blood Drinker pointed towards the sky, and a terrifying aura locked down the four of them. A blood-colored saber image cut open the sky, and then slashed down towards them. Boom. The four of them had never imagined Long Chen would directly use his strongest battle skill right at the beginning, and they all resisted with their full power. However, Long Chen's power had reached a new level now, and even the four of them together were blown back. Although they managed to block the attack by going all out, Han Shian Iyu and the mustached man both vomited a mouthful of blood. They were no longer in their peak state, and they could not compare to Yun Luo and Huo Wufang. Everyone, think of ways to kill the magical beast that's flying high in the air. Huo Wufang had also seen through the problem, and he ordered everyone to attack Chu Yao. Unfortunately, the only strong archers on this battlefield were on Long Chen's side. Others might be able to use bow and arrows, but they were only dabblers. To kill a peak fourth rank magical beast that was several miles in the air was absolutely impossible for them. Furthermore, Huo Wufang's shout had also alerted Mo Gate's disciples. Whenever someone took out a bow, they would instantly be killed by an arrow. However, there were still too many enemies. Even though they killed many people, there were still quite a few who managed to take out a bow and shoot the Violet Phoenix Sparrow. But it was too far, and even when their attacks reached it, their power was unable to even break through its skin. It had to be known that just the feathers of the Violet Phoenix Sparrow were harder than steel. Even blades would find it difficult to pierce them. A full power attack from a favored was unable to even get past its defense. Those arrows just tickled it. Furthermore, even if a peak expert shot an arrow at it, it wasn't as if the Violet Phoenix Sparrow would just sit there. If there was an attack that could menace it, it would use its claws to block or simply dodge. They were powerless to do anything against it. Moreover, the other three Violet Phoenix Sparrows were also circling in the vicinity spouting terrifying violet flames that caused huge casualties amongst the righteous and corrupt disciples. However, the ones to suffer the most casualties were the corrupt disciples. That was because the majority of the righteous disciples had already fled or were just hiding in the back. Seeing the corrupt disciples charging in, they cheered them on. Other than some chosen, the majority of the righteous disciples had all finally felt fear. Guo Ran and the others were just too ruthless and the piles of corpses on the ground had practically been turned into mountains. On the other hand, the corrupt disciples still did not fear death, and they continued to charge in. And thus, they continued to fall, their blood dyeing the ground even redder. Most importantly, up in the air, two powerful soul cultivators, Men Qi and Lu Fang Er, were raining down terrifying killing blows. Each wave of corrupt experts that charged forward was another wave that collapsed on the ground. If you were targeted by them, then only people with soul items could keep themselves alive. However, even if some survived, they were too few. In the face of the Huai insect and Mo Gate's disciples' attacks, they wouldn't be able to last for more than a few breaths' time before dying. Bring out your full strength. We have to kill Long Chen as fast as possible. Huo Wufang started to feel a trace of unease. Flames began to soar out of his body, and a terrifying heat almost ignited the sky. His flame blade was filled with runes as it slashed at Long Chen. Currently, Huo Wufang had managed to merge with the fourth-ranked beast flame, and adding on his special circulation techniques, his flame blade's power was terrifying. Netherworld possession. Yin Luo also released his full power. The space around him was constantly quivering, and an enormous aura soared. That aura was his Xianchen power, that made Han Shian Iyu turn cold. Now that Yun Luo had activated his Xianchen power, 
He gave Han Shian Iyu an immense sense of pressure. He now realized that even if he was in his peak state, he wouldn't necessarily be able to defer Turing Yun Luo. Thinking of that, Han Shian Iyu took out a jade case from his spatial ring. Inside it was a medicinal pearl that sparkled like white jade. Hesitating for a moment, it was with great pain that he finally swallowed it. After consuming it, his pale face instantly returned to normal. At the same time, his aura began to sharply rise, and he somehow had recovered to his peak state. Lesser invigoration pill. Long Chen's pupils shrunk. This was a pill that could let someone on the point of death instantly recover to their peak. It was an extremely precious pill, one that could save your life at a critical moment. It contained a huge amount of life energy. Although it hadn't reached the point that it could revive a dead person, it had instantly made up for all the blood and ki that Han Shian Iyu had lost. Although this was just a temporary effect, that didn't take away from how precious this pill was. Han Shian Iyu only had one, and he had always kept it as life-preserving treasure. But now that Long Chen had undergone the Wood Spirit Union with Chu Yao, he was even more powerful than his peak state. In order to kill Long Chen, he was even willing to sacrifice this incomparably precious pill. As for the mustached man, seeing Han Shian Iyu swallow the lesser invigoration pill, he clenched his teeth and extracted a drop of blood from his forehead. A mark appeared in the space between his eyebrows. When that mark appeared, his aura instantly rose. He had used some kind of secret technique to forcibly increase his strength. Now that the four of them had exploded with their greatest strength, glancing at each other, they charged at Long Chen. Currently, Long Chen did not feel happiness nor sadness. He did not feel shock nor fear. All he felt was an overflowing battle intent. He felt as if his own blood was boiling. Blood drinker seemed to sense Long Chen's emotions and also began to quiver. Kill. Long Chen's roar was like spring thunder, causing heaven and earth to rumble. The spiritual key in his body violently surged, and his aura soared to an unprecedented level. Boom. 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 The five of them fought intensely, each of their exchanges causing the world to shake. This was a true battle of heavenly geniuses, and each attack could instantly decide life or death. Runes flitted back and forth. Sword light pierced the sky. Terrifying astral wind swirled about. The entire world seemed as if it might explode, and those distant spectators were all dazzled. Long Chen is definitely the reincarnation of a battle god, muttered one person. No one mocked him for saying such a thing. On the contrary, they nodded. On his own, he fought against the four pinnacle experts and was even able to attack and defend without the slightest sign of losing. If he wasn't the reincarnation of a battle god, what was he? Their fight was practically apocalyptic. The void was constantly buzzing, as if it was unable to bear that power and would explode. As Long Chen fought, he only became more and more valiant. That immediately raised Guo Ran and the others' morale. Even the Huai insect and Mo Gate's disciples felt their blood boiling. Long Chen's power had surpassed anyone's expectations, and those on his side felt their blood boiling from just watching. To be able to fight alongside such a person meant they could die without regrets. While Long Chen was fighting an immense battle, the other battle was not any lacking in comparison. In fact, when it came to bloodiness, it far surpassed it. The righteous and corrupt path had had over a hundred thousand disciples present. Now, less than half of them were left. The ground was covered with corpses. Although casualties had appeared amongst the Huai insect and Mo Gate's disciples, those casualties were nothing when compared to the huge number of deaths on the other side. The reason there were casualties now was because Chu Yao was no longer able to help everyone. In order to help Long Chen, she was no longer able to heal or protect them. The battle had already reached its climax. Many of the righteous disciples who had withdrawn had now returned to the battle. However, they hadn't come to help the corrupt disciples, but just to cheer from the side. As they encouraged the corrupt disciples, they began to gather the spatial rings. Considering how many people died, it was uncertain just how many treasures were in those spatial rings. This was definitely the best time to take advantage. The corrupt disciples were at the front fighting desperately, while the righteous disciples were behind them collecting spatial rings. That completely infuriated the corrupt disciples. There were many of them who were unable to control their rage. After all, the corrupt disciples were naturally fierce. So seeing these righteous disciples dare take advantage of them like this, they took their weapons and attacked them. The corrupt disciples are killing, unable to defend in time. Hundreds of those righteous disciples were killed in an instant. Many of the righteous disciples began to cry out indignantly. As a result, righteous and corrupt disciples began to fight each other. 
Although they didn't start a full-on war with each other, they both had to be on guard against sneak attacks that caused their overall combat strength to decline, relieving Mo Nian and the others. At this time, Mo Nian and the others didn't have it very well off either. For the safety of the ones behind them, they could only risk their lives to entangle the top experts of their enemies. Their bodies were covered with blood. Some of it was their enemy's blood. Some of it was their own. Feng Xiao Z, you dare. Suddenly, Men Qi let out a furious and anxious cry. Chapter 457 Caught in a Crisis Translator Born to be Feng Xiao Z, you dare. Everyone looked up to see that at some unknown point, a huge crow had appeared in the sky, flying straight for Chu Yao. On the back of the crow was Feng Xiao Z smiling sinisterly, forming hand seals. A spiritual arrow shot out at Chu Yao. At this time, Chu Yao was completely focused on her wood spirit union. All her spiritual strength was with Long Chen, so it was impossible for her to defend. Just as that spiritual arrow was about to reach Chu Yao, a huge spiritual shield appeared in front of her. When the arrow struck the shield, they both exploded. A ripple of spiritual strength erupted in the sky. That ripple rapidly spread, and due to how close she was, it also enveloped Chu Yao. The violet phoenix sparrow let out a pained cry. Magical beasts feared spiritual attacks, and now it almost dropped straight out of the air. As for Chu Yao, she turned pale and coughed up blood, turning her robes a scarlet red. Her defensive strength was essentially zero right now. Just this spiritual ripple caused her to suffer an injury. At the same time, the three leaves on Long Chen's back also trembled intensely, and his aura fluctuated. That was immediately sensed by Hua Wufang and the others, and they immediately launched a flurry of attacks causing Long Chen to repeatedly retreat. Hua Wufang cried out with delight. Excellent work, Feng Xiao Zi. If you kill that woman, I will give your Wind Spirit Pavilion a 20% discount on all medicinal pills. These words might sound a bit unscrupulous, but they made Feng Xiao Zi's heart pound wildly. Medicinal pills were a must-have for a sect's growth. It was their greatest guarantee, and each year, over 60% of a sect's expenses would be for medicinal pills. If Hua Wufang followed up on his promise, then the Wind Spirit Pavilion would save a huge amount of money in the future, making Feng Xiao Zi ecstatic. Many thanks, Brother Huo. Leave this slot to me, Feng Xiao Zi shouted, his voice quivering slightly. Previously, he had almost died to a single attack from Long Chen. If it hadn't been for his teleportation talisman, he would have already died. In truth, with the flying magical beast, Feng Xiao Zi had arrived a while ago. He had just stealthily watched, not daring to approach. That was because he was out of teleportation talismans. If Long Chen once more attacked him, he would definitely die. Most hateful of all, with a spiritual expert like Men Qi present, there was no way for him to use any spiritual attacks to kill him. So he had been hiding in the distance this entire time. Now when he finally saw a chance to have Long Chen killed, he pounced, sneak attacking Chu Yao. If Men Qi hadn't discovered him so soon, Chu Yao would have already died, and once Chu Yao died, her wood spirit union would disappear, and Long Chen would instantly lose his spiritual key and any ability to fight back. Feng Xiao Zi, you really want to do this? Men Qi flew her violet phoenix sparrow to block Feng Xiao Zi's path. Listening to Men Qi's orders, Chu Yao's violet phoenix sparrow flew into the distance. However, it couldn't get too far, or that would exceed the scope of the wood spirit union. You traitor, if you were smart. You'd immediately leave and not interfere. HMPH. We'll settle our debts once we leave the secret realm. Feng Xiao Zi was filled with rancor. Men Qi was the woman he had selected. She was an immortal fairy-like beauty. But she had shown favor for a brat like Long Chen who didn't have any background. And because of that, had ended up cutting ties with him. That had sparked his jealousy. If that's so, then come. As long as I, Men Qi, still draw a breath. Don't even think about harming a single hair on Chu Yao's head. Men Qi slowly formed hand seals in front of her, her spiritual strength completely activating, causing the void to quiver. People were shocked to see another woman appear behind Men Qi, one who looked the exact same as her but was many times larger. That figure had to be 30 meters tall. She was like a floating immortal, grand and solemn, giving people a desire to kneel down in worship. HMPH. Using my Wind Spirit Pavilion secret technique against me, you really are a disgraceful traitor. Today, I will clean up my sect. With a furious roar, an illusory figure appeared behind Feng Xiao Zi, the exact same technique as Men Qi. The two of them both formed hand seals and closed their eyes. 
Dreams all battle armor. The two of them shouted the same thing at the same time. Those illusory figures behind them both seemed to come to life and charge at the other. Those two huge illusions carried swords as they crazily clashed up in the sky. A terrifying pressure surged out from them. One that made everyone feel heavy. Almost as if they were stuck in a chaotic stream of water. Heavens. This is how powerful soul cultivators are. Although they were fighting up in the sky. The people below all felt sharp pains in their soul. Almost as if their souls were about to be torn apart. Soul cultivators were one of the most unusual types of cultivators. And they were also one of the most terrifying. They could kill people without a sound. Seemingly without even doing anything. That was practically unblockable. If your soul wasn't strong enough. You would instantly die to a spiritual attack. So the entire battlefield was affected by their fight. Spiritual protection. Lu Fanger stopped attacking and had her violet phoenix sparrow fly down. She joined everyone else and quickly formed a translucent barrier around them all. That allowed the people on her side to fight without being affected by those spiritual ripples. Currently, Chu Yao was far away enough that she wouldn't be impacted. However, without her present, their entire group's defensive strength dropped. Yes Hikiu could only do her best to take Chu Yao's place. Her ice energy wasn't that much weaker defensively compared to Chu Yao's wood energy, but it was lacking in flexibility. She was only able to look after a portion of her group and not the entire battlefield. However, there was no better option. Those two women have both been pinned down. There won't be any more spiritual attacks. Everyone, charge. A top expert from the corrupt path suddenly shouted. The thing they had been the most afraid of previously was the spiritual attacks from Menki and Lu Fang'er. But now Menki was tied down by Feng Xiaoz Z, and Lu Fang'er was busy defending everyone. Although the aftershocks of Menki's fierce battle with Feng Xiaoz Z caused them to feel an intense pain in their souls, they couldn't miss this chance. They all charged forward in unprecedented numbers. Even the righteous disciples that had fallen back now raised their weapons and charged in. A huge tide of enemies flooded over Long Chen's group, and they immediately landed in a crisis. Reduce the defensive area. Mo Gate Disciples on the inside, Huaiyan Sect Disciples on the outside, brothers from the 108th Monastery, split up and start a massacre. Sisters Hikyu, don't focus on defense anymore, use offense as defense. Guo Ran hastily shouted when he saw this tide like mass of attacks coming for them. At the same time, he clenched his teeth, and countless little holes opened on his chest plot. Die, countless black lights shot out from Guo Ran's chest plot. The closest experts were all turned into pulp. Most terrifying of all was that this time, Guo Ran's attack wasn't just a single wave. Instead, it was a continuous onslaught of needles. At the same time, he also activated the mechanisms on his arms and legs. Guo Ran had truly become ruthless this time. He was undergoing a clearance sale, and not a single item could be left behind. Those needles Guo Ran had forged had become the most deadly weapons now. The enemies in front of him practically exploded their flesh flying everywhere. This scene was incredibly bloody. Right now, their entire group had fallen into its most dangerous moment. Each one of them was fighting all out. Each one of them killed so many that even their eyes turned scarlet. But even so, there were still too many enemies. Guo Ran's assault only continued for a few breaths time before all his inventory was emptied. He could only rely on the two sabers in his hands to attack now. Everyone was tightly surrounded by righteous and corrupt experts. Occasionally, one of them would fall to an enemy's blade. Yes Hikyu's ice energy was activated to its peak. She killed enemies rapidly, but those corrupt disciples were completely unafraid, and there was simply no end to them. At this time, the corrupt disciples were like hyenas that had seen blood. Their eyes shone with a cruel light as they continued charging forward, unafraid of death. At this time, Zhen Wenlong, Mo Nian, and Hua Biluo were completely surrounded and isolated on their own. The ones attacking them were all experts amongst experts, and they were unable to help. Wild was currently fighting Zhu Wuaya and two other peak experts. They were filled with grievances they were suppressed by him, but there was no way Wild could kill them in a short time. To be able to entangle three peak experts, Wild's strength was truly shocking. Tang Wan'er was also fighting a peak expert on her own. That was already her limit. On the other side, Yu Zifeng and Yun Wushuang were still completely equal. It could be said that all their strongest experts had been tied down. They were truly in a crisis. Their top fighters had all been tied down and were relatively even. But in terms of ordinary fighters, the difference was just too great. After all, there were just too many of the righteous and corrupt experts. 
It was truly fortunate that Long Chen had made plans for this worst-case scenario and had spent the last few months focusing on raising everyone's collective strength. Everyone had now tempered four bones and reached at least the mid-bone forging realm. Otherwise, such an intense battle would have been impossible for them to endure for so long. And even so, their battle was extremely desperate. Right now, everyone's hopes were on Long Chen. Although he was being attacked by four of the strongest experts here, Guo Ran and the others had faith in him. In their eyes, Long Chen was always undefeatable. In the end, whether this situation could reverse would all depend on Long Chen. At this time, Long Chen was repeatedly retreating in the face of their ferocious attacks. Due to Chu Yao being injured, the Wood Spirit Union had been affected, and his spiritual key was fluctuating intensely. The four of them were taking advantage of this time. Long Chen could only defend and wait for Chu Yao to adjust it, as he had expected. After several breaths time, his spiritual key once more became steady. Long Chen took a deep breath. Feng Fu Battle Armor. Chapter 458 Wind Flame Combination Attack Translator. Born to be Feng Fu Battle Armor, Long Chen cried out inside, and a star appeared in his eyes. The divine ring behind him began to shine even brighter, brighter than a scorching sun. His aura explosively grew, and a huge pillar of key soared into the sky, causing the world to tremble. At this time, Hua Wufang's huge flame blade was slashing down on him. A demonic light shone in Long Chen's eyes as he swung out his blood-colored saber. Hua Wufang's flame blade exploded, and he was blown back, coughing up blood, looking at Long Chen with shock. As for the others, they were also each blown back by a single slash of Long Chen's saber. They were all horrified. Looking at Long Chen's eyes, they felt as if they were being stared at by the Grim Reaper. Most terrifying of all was Long Chen's current aura. It had suddenly explosively grown to an absolutely horrifying level. They had never imagined Long Chen had still been hiding such a trump card. Buzz. Suddenly, a violet ball of flames appeared in Long Chen's hand. That ball quickly grew larger, becoming three meters wide. A terrifying heat came from it that almost ignited the air. When he saw that flame, Hua Wufang's expression completely changed. That was Long Chen's pill flame. For him to condense all his pill flame at this time. Just what was he planning on doing? Everyone, be careful, he warned. At the same time, he retreated. He couldn't tell what Long Chen was doing, but he felt an immense terror in his heart. He sensed a fatal threat from that ball of flames. The others also jumped back in fright and retreated. The flame ball in Long Chen's hand was too frightening. Once it exploded, it would definitely devour all of them. Although they didn't understand the power of a pill flame. They were all peak experts and could rely on their sharp danger senses to know Long Chen was most likely planning on releasing an ultimate attack. Prepare yourself, Long Chen quietly murmured. The four of them were dumbfounded to see him suddenly throw it high into the sky. Suddenly, spiritual strength spread and a white figure appeared. That was a white snow wolf. As soon as it appeared, a domineering pressure spread, causing all their hearts to quiver. Roar. As soon as little snow appeared, he emitted a heaven-shaking roar. Opening his mouth, a huge ball of wind blades shot out. In the beginning, that ball was just a foot wide, but it began to quickly grow as it flew, becoming 30 meters wide. What appalled Hua Wufang and the others was that it collided with Long Chen's violet flame ball. In front of their dumbfounded eyes, the wind blade ball instantly devoured Long Chen's flames, and the ball grew to an enormous 300 meters. Furthermore, after devouring the flames, that ball now released a pressure that chilled them to the bones. Then, the huge ball began to fly towards the four of them. They had never seen such a strange attack, and they didn't dare take it head on. They dodged to the sides. But what was curious was that such a terrifying attack didn't have any locking ability. They were easily able to dodge, puzzling them. Not good. Yin Luo's expression suddenly changed, and he roared to the distant battlefield. Watch out. But he had only just shouted when that huge ball picked up speed and shot straight towards the righteous and corrupt experts. What? Seeing that huge ball descending upon them, all their expressions turned dull and lifeless. Before they could even tell what was going on, that huge ball began to tear through their ranks. No matter what power level they had reached, whoever was touched by that huge ball was instantly blown up and then turned to ashes by the immense heat, leaving nothing behind. The entire battlefield was cut in two now. After flying a hundred miles, the huge ball finally exploded, and a huge mushroom cloud appeared in the distance. The land shook intensely, where that ball exploded, everything within several dozen miles had been turned to nothingness, those that were still alive were all stunned, even though it hadn't exploded amongst them, many experts had lost their lives to it, 
Furthermore, it had pierced straight through where the righteous and corrupt disciples were most concentrated. After that attack, tens of thousands of experts had disappeared. Just having seen that made people feel numb and cold. That attack allowed all of them to truly appreciate how powerful Long Chen was. If Long Chen hadn't been worried about other people's lives and had instead let it explode in the middle of the battlefield, then there probably wouldn't be very many people who would still be alive. Long Chen had calculated the angle of his attack perfectly. It just missed his companions that were fighting, instantly exterminating almost half the enemies besieging them. This wind and flame attack was Long Chen's secret weapon. It was something inspired from the final death attacks of the barbaric wind beast and the violet phoenix sparrow. That attack had practically been apocalyptical. From it, Long Chen had seen that when wind and flame energy combined, they could erupt with several times the power. Originally, Little Snow had been a dual wind and fire element magical beast. But after absorbing the barbaric wind beast's Needon, his energy had slanted completely towards the wind element. However, he still had a slight amount of flame energy. Long Chen had researched on how he could combine his flame energy with Little Snow's wind energy. If they simply directly collided, that would just cause an instant explosion. That was mostly unusable. But that slight amount of flame energy that Little Snow possessed was the key to fixing that. Although more than 99% of his wind blade ball had been wind energy, it had also contained a trace of flame energy. That flame energy was kept at the very center of the ball. When Little Snow's attack reached Long Chen's flame ball, that slight flame energy had wrapped around Long Chen's flame ball. That way, there wouldn't be any expulsion. It was like a mouth had swallowed Long Chen's flame ball, and it would only release it when it was time. But Long Chen himself had not expected that their full strength combined attack would reach such a terrifying point. Furthermore, when it had exploded, its power had been absolutely incredible. In fact, Long Chen and Little Snow's combined attack was not much weaker even when compared to the final attacks by the Barbaric Wind Beast and the Violet Phoenix Sparrow. Boss is mighty, Guo Ran couldn't help but cheer. Long Chen's attack had cleaned up half the battlefield. Not only had it exterminated countless enemies, but it had also destroyed all of their enemies' confidence. Now those experts that were still fighting were much more reserved, all keeping an eye on Long Chen. Who knew when Long Chen would unleash another terrifying attack? As for the distant spectators, seeing tens of thousands of people just disappear was too shocking. Each of them was pale as paper. The intensity of this battle had already surpassed their understanding. Too many people had died. At this time, a 10-meter white snow wolf was standing by Long Chen's side. Its eyes emitted a light that chilled people to the bone. That apocalyptic attack was something no one had ever heard of, let alone seen. Everyone, you don't need to be afraid. That attack used up all of Long Chen's pill flame energy. He can't release a second attack. Seeing that everyone's eyes were filled with terror, Huo Wufang shouted. As a pill cultivator, Huo Wufang could instantly tell that while Long Chen's last attack had been terrifying, it came with the cost of using up all his pill flame energy. There was no need to worry about another attack. However, everyone was still too stunned by the previous attack. This attack was something that would kill anyone it touched. And in truth, even Long Chen didn't dare release it at such a close range. Neither he nor Little Snow would be able to block it either. Little Snow, go help everyone. Try to lessen our casualties. Long Chen patted Little Snow. Ao Wu, don't worry, it's just a bunch of good for nothings. They can't do anything to me. After hearing that, Little Snow icily glanced at the four of them before turning into a white bolt of lightning, instantly appearing dozens of miles away and charging into the battlefield. Little Snow opened his mouth and wind blades shot out, mercilessly wreaking havoc amongst them. After absorbing the barbaric wind beasts Needon, Little Snow's wind blades had reached an absolutely terrifying realm. Adding on his magical beast body that had several times the energy of a human, he immediately started a massacre when he joined the fight. With Little Snow's addition, many experts had to be on guard against him. This peak fourth rank magical beast was too terrifying, and anyone facing him took defensive postures. But Little Snow was as quick as lightning, coming and going like the wind. They were unable to even keep track of where he was, and so they could only keep up a constant guard. Every one of them had seen that Little Snow should be a magical beast with extremely powerful offensive abilities but extremely weak defense. However, Little Snow's speed made up for that weakness, causing them to be helpless. Little Snow's addition was a great boost to Guo Ran and the others' morale. After fighting for so long, especially in such an incredibly fierce battle, they were already exhausted, and even their spiritual key was starting to run out. 
But after seeing Long Chen's attack eliminate countless experts and Little Snow joining in, their disadvantage had immediately reversed. They were filled with delight, and their combat strength surged. HMPH, everyone, stop hiding your true abilities. This is Long Chen's deathbed struggle, the final radiance before the setting sun. Don't be deceived. Kill him. Hua Wufang shouted and flames erupted from his body. Countless flame runes danced around him, and he no longer held back at all, his aura instantly reaching his peak. Han Shian Iu also shouted, and lines appeared on his face again. He had once more activated the nine line key explosion art, which was his final trump card. Yin Luo clenched his teeth, once more pushing his Xi'anchen power to its strongest level. As for the mustached man, he was much more direct. He slapped himself in the chest, coughing a mouthful of blood that landed on his broadsword. Countless runes lit up it up his broadsword, and a terrifying pressure soared out. He had used his blood to activate his weapon's true power, split the heavens. As for Long Chen, seeing them all enter their strongest fighting state, he didn't say anything. He directly used his strongest attack. Boom, boom, boom. The star in his eyes flickered. His Feng Fu star and Aliyev star were pushed to the peak. He absorbed an immense amount of Chu Yao's spiritual key, releasing an unprecedented strength. He used split the heavens three times in a row, destroying the land and tearing apart the sky. Hua Wufang and the others had not expected Long Chen to be so ruthless, and immediately use his strongest attack consecutively. Even though they were working together, they still coughed up blood and were blown back. Don't be afraid. If he continues like this, his spiritual key will quickly be exhausted. Then he'll still die pfft. Hua Wufang's words were interrupted when he once more coughed up blood. Buzz. Suddenly. A strange fluctuation appeared, the ground trembled, and the entire world began to rumble. A majestic aura was slowly growing, causing everyone's expressions to change. Chapter 459 Mysterious Sphere Translator Born to be Buzz Suddenly, a strange fluctuation appeared, the ground trembled, and the entire world began to rumble. A majestic aura was slowly growing, causing everyone's expressions to change. What's going on? The entire world's shaking. Could it be that Long Chen's fight with them has already reached such a terrifying level? People were horrified. The ground was shaking intensely, and they were unable to even stand steadily. Even more horrifying was that cracks were forming in the ground. Cracks that were thousands of miles long and spread beyond their sight. Everyone had no choice but to stop fighting and keep watch over the shaking ground. Even Long Chen's side had stopped and pulled apart some distance from each other. They looked at the ground with horror, not knowing what was going on. The shaking was growing more and more intense, as if some peerless monster was trying to dig its way out of the earth. The growing aura caused everyone's hearts to feel reverence. It couldn't be that some monster was awakened by their battle. Right, then wouldn't we all be exterminated? Some people were pale white with terror. Many wanted to run, but the entire Jiuli secret realm was shaking, so no one even knew where that monster would appear. Mo Nian and the others all gathered around Long Chen. At this time, no one still had any thoughts of fighting. They all gathered into their own groups. Not a single one of them knowing what was happening. Stop fighting. No one else is fighting anymore. So what are you doing? A furious voice rang, drawing people's attention. They saw that Wilde was still brandishing his spiked club against Zhu Wuya and the other two peak experts. They were constantly coughing up blood. Wilde's fighting technique was about to make them go crazy. They had all kinds of techniques. But Wilde would just reply with a smash of his club, making them unable to use their abilities. Furthermore, Wilde relied solely on brute strength, so Spiritual Key was unable to block his power. The three of them were all repeatedly blown back, and so angry that they couldn't stop coughing blood. Now seeing that everyone had already stopped, but this huge idiot hadn't, Zhu Wuya couldn't help furiously cursing. Ah, oh, only now did Wilde realize everyone had stopped, looking over at Long Chen. He saw that everyone had already gathered there, only he was still fighting. After a final swing of his club, Wilde ran back over to Long Chen's side. Zhu Wuya and the others finally sighed in relief. They would rather have been attacking Long Chen than fighting against Wilde. It had just been too stifling. Up in the sky, Menki and Feng Xiaozi had also paused. Even the sky was trembling, and their magical beasts were growing uneasy. They were shivering, their eyes filled with terror. Mo Nian, Zhen Wenlong and Hua Biluo all brought their subordinates to stand by Long Chen. By this time, dozens of Mo Gate and Hua Ian sect disciples had lost their lives. That was something unavoidable. In fact, 
To have so few sacrifices in such a battle was already hard to believe. Boss, what is going on? Guo Ran's armor had been almost completely dyed red. Out of everyone, he had probably killed the most people in this battle. I can feel an intense summoning, muttered Long Chen. Summoning, everyone was startled, not knowing what Long Chen meant. Yes, be careful. In a bit, there will probably be an even fiercer battle starting. Yaoer, you should first help everyone heal, said Long Chen. At this time, Chu Yao was by Long Chen, pressing a hand on his back, helping him recover his spiritual key. However, this was not the Wood Spirit Union. To recover Long Chen's personal spiritual key was extremely slow. Chu Yao nodded and formed hand seals. Countless wooden stakes grew out of the ground. Anyone injured had life energy pour into them from the wooden stakes. At the same time as they were healed, they also consumed medicinal pills to recover their spiritual key as fast as possible in order to prepare for that fierce battle Long Chen said was coming. Rumble. The ground was still shaking intensely. That terrifying aura was growing ever stronger. The righteous and corrupt disciples all ran over to Han Shian Iu and Yun Luo respectively, all filled with panic. People were all afraid of the unknown. Only Long Chen felt a kind of indescribable familiarity and anticipation. When he had gone all out and summoned his Feng Fu battle armor a while ago, he had felt something. A familiar call was slowly approaching. Now as heaven and earth trembled, that call was getting even closer. Boom. Suddenly, the ground exploded. A huge sphere shot out of the ground. It had a diameter of three miles. Multicolored lights shone on top of it, and a divine grace circulated within it. The aura of primal chaos coming from it was extremely powerful. It caused a resonance with all of heaven and earth. The entire world was rumbling. When the sphere appeared in the air, it released a pressure that made countless experts kneel down towards it. It was impossible for them to not kneel. That aura was too terrifying, and if they didn't kneel, their kneecaps would explode. Only Chosen could just barely resist it. However, they were all pale and sweating profusely. They obstinately resisted, tightly staring at that sphere. Everyone wanted to know what this sphere was. What was it doing? In addition, that primal chaos aura coming from it filled them with greed. Primal chaos was the earliest energy to exist. It was something containing the heavens, the earth, and all things between. Even just looking at this sphere made their dantians wildly circulate. It was definitely a peerless treasure. However, it was too big and too terrifying. No one understood what was happening, so no one went to directly snatch it. Buzz. The huge sphere was constantly revolving in the air. Endless primal chaos dispersed from it, and as it revolved, it began to shrink. In just a breath's time, it was only 30 meters wide, and it was still shrinking. When it was finally the size of a fist, looking just like a large pearl, it became completely still. People were all watching with shock. Only Long Chen was filled with ecstasy. He could sense that the thing calling to him was precisely this sphere. Furthermore, when this sphere had appeared, his Feng Fu star and Aliyev star had begun to rapidly circulate a dozen times faster than he could control them. Originally, Long Chen had thought he had missed out on the chance to get whatever it was that was calling to him. He really hadn't expected it to appear at this time. His heart pounded loudly. This was a truly peerless treasure, and it was definitely related to the nine-star hegemon body art. The sky trembled, and the fist-sized sphere shot straight towards Long Chen. Suddenly, a figure rushed in front of him, grabbing it. Haha, <laughs> this treasure is mine, he laughed. That was one of the peak experts that had fought with Zhu Wuaya against Wild. He had been the closest to the sphere, and as a result, he celebrated at being the first to grab it. But that laughter had only just rung out when it was cut short harshly. When he had grabbed the sphere, it hadn't stopped at all, and had simply continued flying at Long Chen. A ray of light had come from the sphere and instantly turned that peak expert into ashes. What? A peak expert had been instantly killed just like that. Furthermore, he hadn't even sensed any danger or had any chance to resist. That scene horrified everyone. With that example, no one else dared vainly try and grab it. They could only watch as the sphere flew straight at Long Chen. That completely shocked everyone. Could it be that this sphere had some relation with Long Chen? Seeing it flying over, Mo Nian and the others all had nervous expressions. This sphere could instantly kill peak experts. No one dared touch it. There was not a single person whose nerves were not stretched taut. It finally came to a sudden stop when it reached Long Chen, floating three meters above his head. Buzz. Light shone from the sphere and enveloped Long Chen. A majestic aura slowly began to merge into his body. Long Chen instantly felt some incorporeal thing slowly being injected into his body. 
It was flowing towards his empty danshan, but he was also appalled to realize that he suddenly couldn't move at all. He was completely restricted by something and could only allow that energy to pour into him. That pearl is merging with Long Chen? Let's kill him. Feng Xiaozi's spiritual strength was incredibly powerful, and he was the first to realize that secret. He could sense the pearl's energy merging with Long Chen. If Long Chen was already so powerful, then once that pearl merged with him, just who could possibly stop him? Everyone was already filled with terror towards him. But now, they were also filled with intense jealousy for his luck. The natural treasures of heaven and earth could only be found by those who had destiny with them. Furthermore, it also required power, intelligence, and willpower to gain them. However, Long Chen hadn't needed to do anything. This peerless treasure had actually voluntarily sent itself to him and had even been the one to initiate the merge. That made everyone's eyes redden. Attack. Hua Wufang and the others shouted, charging at Long Chen. Mo Nian, Zhen Wenlong, Hua Biluo, and all the others charged up to block them. Long Chen can't move right now. Haha, <laughs> everyone, attack him. At this time, Yin Wushuang couldn't help but excitedly shout when she saw that while everyone else had sprung into motion, Long Chen was still. Now that everyone realized that point, they all roared and charged at him. 10,000 wood overgrowth. Heaven Earth Cage. Countless wooden stakes shot out of the ground, creating many layers against the attackers. HMPH. Scarlet Flame C. Hua Wufang shouted, and his two flame blades crossed and slashed out. Chu Yao's wooden stakes were instantly blown apart. Chu Yao's wood energy had been completely restrained by him. Thousand Mile Ice Wall. Soul extinguishes thousands of lives. Long Chen was unable to move right now. Everyone released their greatest strength, going all out to block the enemies, stalling for time for Long Chen. As long as they could last until Long Chen had merged with the pearl, the scales of victory would instantly tilt towards their side. Boom. A spear destroyed all their defenses. Adopt that spear was a terrifying Xi'anshan power that caused heaven and earth to tremble. Yin Luo had come. Haha, <laughs> Long Chen, go die. His spear stabbed directly for Long Chen. That spear had condensed all his Xi'anshan power and was incredibly powerful. You dare attack my brother Long? You should die instead. Suddenly, an explosive shout rang out, shaking everyone's eardrums. A massive spike club smashed at Yun Luo. Chapter 460 Fairy Dice Translator Born to be Yun Luo could kill Long Chen with this spear. However, he felt an intense sensation of death. If Wild's club hit him, he would also die. He could only give up on killing Long Chen and hastily raise his spear to block. Boom. Yin Luo was blown back into the distance. He saw there was a giant man standing beside Long Chen. Whoever dares try and attack my brother Long will be killed by me. Seeing that Long Chen couldn't move and that this many people wanted to kill him, Wild's body suddenly went berserk, and he let out a heaven-shaking roar. A-H-H. -H. The faint mark on his forehead instantly turned red as blood. Lines began to spread out from it looking like two small centipedes crossing over Wilde's face and slowly spreading to his chest. Buzz. A barbaric aura suddenly exploded from Wilde's body. It was like some ancient monster had been awakened and was emitting a terrifying pressure. Die. Wilde roared, his voice shaking everyone's minds. At this time, Wilde seemed like a savage battle god. Brandishing his club, he swept away all the experts in front of him. A terrifying power shattered all their weapons and turned their bodies into paste. Blood mist filled the air, shocking everyone. Furthermore, the final one to be killed was clearly a chosen and had managed to dodge his club, but he was still killed just from the astral winds of Wild's club. First, work together to kill this blockhead. Han Shianayu shouted. He took the lead to attack Wild. Currently, Wild was closely protecting Long Chen. Without killing him first, there was no way to kill Long Chen. Scram. Wild furiously roared, and a spiked club sent him flying. Not only that, but Han Shianayu's sword also shattered. Heavens, this giant's true power probably isn't even weaker than Long Chen. The distant spectators all gasped. Wild was currently brandishing his club with extraordinary strength. Ordinary Chosen would die from touching it. Han Shianayu and the others all realized the situation was not good. If they let Wild continue like this, then they would all be doomed once Long Chen merged with the Pearl. All the top experts attacked Wild. Han Shianayu. Yin Luo, the mustached man, were crazily attacking him. Even Zhu Wuaya joined in extremely unwillingly. Right now, their number one priority was to eliminate Long Chen. Long Chen's strength had terrified all of them. Considering the enmity between them, 
They were mortal enemies. And if they didn't kill Long Chen, then the best thing for them to do was to probably dig a hole and bury themselves. The mark on Wilde's forehead was blood red. His eyes were also scarlet. And he had entered a berserk state. Even his skin was becoming a fiery red. His club rapidly swung through the air, not leaving any openings for them to attack. He actually managed to force them back several times. Long Chen was unable to move, and he was filled with panic. The pearl atop his head was pouring a strange kind of energy into his body. Although it had just been several breaths of time, a quarter of its energy had entered him. Theoretically, this kind of speed was already extremely rapid. But in this kind of crisis situation, each second felt longer than a year. Faster, faster, you have to be faster. Long Chen was about to go crazy as he watched everyone fight with their lives on the line. Everyone was in danger. There were already casualties, causing him to feel like knives were stabbing him in the heart. Anyone who battled shoulder to shoulder with Long Chen was someone he would view as a brother. If they could sacrifice their lives for him, he could do the same for them. Sensing the number of lives diminishing around him, he felt like he might explode. Up in the sky, the violet phoenix sparrows were no longer able to release any of their power. The battle on the ground was just too chaotic, and they weren't able to differentiate between their own people and enemies. They could only attack the enemies on the outer lines. Even Little Snow was only able to fight on the outer lines. He shot out as many wind blades as possible, but he was unable to charge through the crowd. Sister, careful. Suddenly, Lu Fanger's cry rang out. A silent arrow shot at Men Qi, but Men Qi was fighting fiercely with Feng Xiaozi now, and she was unable to block it. PFFT. The arrow pierced through Lu Fanger's chest. Blood instantly dyed her robes red. However, Lu Fanger didn't feel the slightest bit of panic. Instead, her face had a faint, gratified smile. Fanger, Men Qi let out a heart-rending cry. Not only had that arrow destroyed Lu Fanger's inner organs, but it also contained a powerful poison. That was not just some ordinary poison, but a soul-devouring blood poison specialized for soul cultivators. There was no cure for this soul-devouring blood poison. That was because it activated too quickly, and there was no time to even consume medicines to relieve the poison. Sister, take care. A final, sad but beautiful smile appeared on Lu Fanger's face before she died. Nu, Men Qi held Lu Fanger's corpse in her hands and let out a hysterical wail. Lu Fanger's death filled her with inconsolable grief. Suddenly, up in the sky, a sorrowful bird cry rang out and a huge violet phoenix sparrow charged down amongst the crowd, going straight towards a certain expert carrying a bow. Xiao Kifeng, Men Qi's vision was indistinct from her tears, but she still saw that figure. He was someone from the Wind Spirit Pavilion, someone who was usually Feng Xiaozi's lackey. Xiao Kifeng had received Feng Xiaozi's order to kill Men Qi, and as a soul cultivator, he naturally knew her fatal weak point. However, he hadn't expected that instead of killing Men Qi, he would end up killing Lu Fanger. Now that Lu Fanger had died, her magical beast had gone berserk. A-H-H. The violet phoenix sparrow captured him with a single claw and began to tear him apart. But as soon as it landed on the ground, it was also surrounded by countless experts. But what they never expected was that instead of trying to run, a terrifying aura began to explode from the violet phoenix sparrow's body. It's self-detonating. B-O-O-O-M. Even though they had realized, they hadn't had the time. The violet phoenix sparrow's huge body exploded, and a terrifying blood key killed everyone around it. A magical beast that was raised from infancy and treated well would possess an unquestionable loyalty towards its master. It would treat its owner as its family. For its family to die, it would rather die as well rather than living alone. Feng Xiaozi, you and I can no longer exist in this world together. Men Qi put Lu Fanger's corpse into a spatial ring. Now was not the time for grief. She released her most powerful soul arts to crazily attack Feng Xiaozi. Lu Fanger's death filled her with endless sorrow. The two of them had been together all the time and were even closer than real sisters. Men Qi wanted to kill Feng Xiaozi in the most painful way possible. HMPH. This is the fate of a traitor. You will also follow her shortly. Wind Spirit Pavilion Disciples. Obey my orders. Kill this traitor. Ordered Feng Xiaozi. However. The distant Wind Spirit Pavilion disciples all just stared at him coldly. Not one of them moved. In fact, many of their eyes were filled with disdain and dense killing intent. You refuse to listen to my orders. Are you planning on rebelling? Raged Feng Xiaozi. However, even though he threatened them like this, not one of those disciples moved. That surprised and infuriated him. 
He swore that once they returned to the Wind Spirit Pavilion, he would settle their debts. Buzz. A golden light shot straight for Feng Xiao Z. His expression suddenly changed, and he hastily jumped to the ground to dodge. The golden light pierced through countless bodies as it chased after Feng Xiao Z. That was the golden page Long Chen had given Men Qi. Unfortunately, in her grief, Men Qi had forgotten Long Chen's warning that it was usually only effective when used as a surprise attack. As soon as Men Qi had taken it out, it had been sensed by Feng Xiao Z. As a soul cultivator, he instantly sensed how terrifying the golden page was. He fled around the crowd, implicating countless people. Come out. When he had rushed several hundred meters away, Feng Xiao Z suddenly shouted and summoned a huge striped tiger. As soon as it appeared, it was struck in the head by the golden page and instantly killed. However, Men Qi's expression completely changed. She clenched her teeth. She knew she had been duped by Feng Xiao Z. He had sacrificed a magical beast to collect the golden page. Ah, many thanks. Feng Xiao Z sneered and put the tiger's corpse into his spatial ring. He naturally knew the weakness of soul items. That was that they would be isolated from spiritual strength once they entered flesh. Feng Xiao Z. Men Qi erupted with her full strength, each one of her blows aiming to take his life. Feng Xiao Z was panicked and repeatedly forced back. Although he was the pavilion master's son, when it came to talent, he was still a level lower than Men Qi. Even though he had obtained several times the resources Men Qi had, this berserk Men Qi still completely suppressed him, making it so he could only defend. As Men Qi went all out on her side, Tang Wanur, Ye Zhikyu, Chu Yao, and the others had all descended into an extremely dangerous crisis. Chu Yao was focused completely on defense, blocking huge amounts of enemies at the same time. Otherwise, they could have charged with greater cooperation and efficiency, immediately blowing past their defenses. If it weren't for Chu Yao's layers of protection, they would have long since collapsed. But now she could only focus completely on defense and had no time to heal everyone's injuries. This was truly a life or death moment. While everyone was fighting fiercely, there was a cloaked figure furtively approaching Long Chen. With her dainty figure, she was actually able to fight while avoiding experts. Slowly getting closer and closer to Long Chen. It's Yun Wushuang. She wants to assassinate Long Chen. Someone let out a startled cry. People hastily turned to see that sneaky figure wearing a cloak. However, part of her face was still revealed. Yin Wushuang had been taking advantage of the chaotic battle to get closer to Long Chen. But just as she was about to succeed, someone exposed her. She clenched her teeth and took out a dagger. A blue light came from it, and an extremely disgusting scent filled the air as soon as it appeared. That dagger was clearly covered in poison. Long Chen, go to hell. Yin Wushuang charged straight towards Long Chen from the side. At the front, Wild was fighting against Han Shianayu, Yin Luo, and the others. This was the spot where their defenses were the weakest. And at this time, Yin Wushuang had found an opening. BTCH, you should go to hell instead. The closest Mo Gate disciple raised his bow to block Yin Wushuang. Scram. Yin Wushuang sent that person flying with a single palm. After all, that was just one of their ordinary core disciples and could not compare to her. Her dagger stabbed straight towards Long Chen's stomach. She didn't dare look at Long Chen's face at the moment and only dared to attack from the side. She was already too terrified of Long Chen, as he had already become her heart devil. Long Chen, everyone couldn't help letting out appalled cries. At this time, they were all tied down by enemies. They were only capable of watching as the poison dagger approached Long Chen. Before it reached him, a beautiful figure appeared in front of Long Chen. She was using her own body to take the dagger. Sisters Hikyu, Tang Wan'er let out a sharp cry. She and Ye's Hikyu had been fighting shoulder to shoulder all this while. She had used her ice energy to block an attack for Tang Wan'er, which had made it so she had no more energy to use against Yun Wushuang. Surprisingly, she had used her own body to block her poisonous dagger. BTCH, you ruined things. Yu Yun Wushuang raged and was about to kill Ye's Hikyu. Fuck off. Suddenly, a furious voice rang out like spring thunder, shaking the sky. 